Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones, let's get into this energy. My beautiful, beautiful collaborative tribe. Welcome to another edition of Tea Talk and Tarot with Empress 444. I love you all. Let's get into this energy, beautiful ones. I hope you're having the most beautiful Saturn day. Uh huh. And I'll announce in the community if I'm going to do a Saturn day night live tonight because. Right now, this is going to take a lot of my energy, and I do have personals to do. This all signs reading, okay? This will, I believe, be my first all signs on here, okay? Without doing them, you know, separately. So, this is something I'm looking to see, to implement, to see if it's something you're all interested in. So, be sure to like the energy if you watch it in its totality, or even if you're just watching your sign, because these will all be time stamped, right? But I'm always going to highly advise you to watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, okay? And you, you can get into the specifics of other aspects of who you are as well, right? Uh-huh. Depending on the situation, because I myself, I decipher what energy I'm going to watch. With Zodiac, I'm going to watch based on the situation, all right? And I'm not telling anybody to get all geeked out like that, like I do. But I know many of you do because you're intellectual and you're a bit analytical, right? So you kind of like to compare different contrast of the energy and seeing it change you know i get into it like that and then you know what readings just specifically hit you the hardest whether it is your sun or your rising okay i and many resonate more so with their moon all right so let's get into it beautiful ones i don't want this to be all day because i want to get it back in the energy for libra no shade, no shade, no shade. This is a Venetian Rand powered by Venus metaphysical channel. Cheers to you. Here's to you. What do you have in your cup? Get your water, get your tea, get your coffee, get whatever it is you need. Beautiful ones. All right. We're going to ride through the constellations. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. We're starting off with Aries, okay? And give me a moment to beautiful ones. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as I channel these messages. I ask that my collaborative is protected as well. Spirit, give us precise with great, great, great knowledge of what is not being seen with the naked eye. Give us the energy of the subconscious mind. Future, past, and present spirit, I thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Energies for Aries. We're starting off with Aries. And Aries is starting at 403, 404, 404. I like it. It's the fourth month. Uh-huh. Okay. We're starting all of the reads off with the Higher Self Oracle, okay? The Higher Self Oracle. And let me pull my hourglass out. Mm -hmm. right. I think it might be in the way there. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, Aries, anytime that is delayed, <laughs> I will definitely make sure you get your time in, okay? This just helps me out with each reading. 
because things can get a little deep. Don't want to knock that over. Spirit cards for Aries. Energy for Aries. Thank you. All right. What else? Okay, Aries. Spirit is asking that you be patient. It's something, it's something that you may be feeling you want to rush in this energy, okay? But you're being called to tap into some patience. There's something that you're fearful of, okay? It could be something you've been sitting in, something that you probably don't even recognize you actually are there, okay? It's something that you're fearful of. And it could have something to do with boundaries that need to be created. All right. Definitely, you know, it could be some boundaries you need to talk to somebody about. This overall energy is you're on the right path. Okay. So being patient because it is a virtue, right? And removing yourself from a place of fear. Something, something that is troubling you. It could be a family situation, is what I'm getting the heaviest energy from however your family looks, but boundaries need to be put in place. Definitely. You're on the right path doing this as well. Let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. We're going to tap into the emotionals. All right. Get some energy before going into the Tarot. Spirit in the cards for the energy of Aries. The energy of Aries. This one fell. Police station, okay? Somebody may be incarcerated. Someone may have trouble with the law, okay? Be careful driving. What else, spirit? All right. Flipper. Jezebel. Mm, somebody's acting... In a low form of nature. And look, overall energy is heartbreak. It could be due to heartbreak that's happening in the energy, okay? Aries. Hmm. What else, spirit? All right. We're going to take three of these. Bumping heads. You could be bumping heads with people. In this energy, okay? Overall energy is married here. Someone has gotten married. Someone will attend a wedding or hear about a wedding, okay? And feel some type of way about it, okay? Truth discovered, awakening, and illumination. This is somebody waking up to something. Um, there's a, definitely a Jezebel in the energy. Somebody doing the most. Uh-huh. So, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Interesting cards. Beautiful ones. At any time, these messages resonate with you. Be sure to hit the like button. And thank you. Thank you, thank you for those who energetically exchange with the confirmations. Aries energy. Spirit, Aries energy. Aries energy. You could be... Um, kind of cold right about now, Aries. Uh-huh. Not really dealing with the same energies is what I'm getting. All right. There's a Knight of Cups energy out here. This is an emotional offer, okay? An offer being made by Prince Charming. Flip and switch these energy. Okay. My Divine Masculine. Princess. 
Charmaine. Charmaine. <laughs> yeah, she's making an emotional offer. All right. What else, Spirit? For Aries. Seven of Pentacles and the Fool. And we're going to pull four. All right. The Hierophant. Okay. So, Aries. I'm seeing there's an emotional offer that's being made in the energy that someone possibly could want to invest in. Okay. Uh-huh. Seven of Pentacles is here. And this will come across as a new beginning in your energy. Uh-huh. And this is something. This is a spiritual connection. It's a spiritual connection. Look, the overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles. You feel like family to this energy. This energy seems, sees longevity, okay? They see longevity. Give me the Knight of Cups energy for my Aries. All right. Oh, wow. There's some Seven of Swords energy, and someone's going through a tower, okay? So somebody is going to try to come to you emotionally, uh-huh, because they're going through a tower, and they've already snaked you in the past, all right? Yeah, let's get this Seven of Pentacles. You've been planting seeds, and people see those seeds in your crops. They're all in your backyard. They're all peeking over the fence at your garden, all right? There we go. All of these came out. I'm going to take them, okay, because I'm looking at the sand in the glass, all right? Knight of Wands, definitely somebody wants to come at you passionately, okay? Wine hot on fire. This is someone who, you know, pretty much is wanting what it is they want. You got the Six of Pentacles here, and the Six of Pentacles is about somebody has their hand out because they see you creating something new in an energy. Page of Wands, something new is being created in this energy. Your new beginning is shining like the sun. Overall energy is the Queen of Swords. Like I said, you kind of cold. You kind of cold. You really ain't dealing with, you know, who you were dealing with is what I'm getting, right? Okay, give me the full spirit for my Aries. Okay. Four of, whoa, that's your new beginning. The four of wands. I know that's right. Okay. This is a solid beginning. A sturdy, stable, solid beginning. Okay. That has so much desire to happen in your life. Okay. It's four of wands. You could have met your soulmate. You will have met someone who energetically comes together in a union to build something solid in this energy. Okay beautiful ones. These readings are from 18, August 18 to August 24. Just a reminder for you all, okay? And I'll be back in the energy every Saturn day. King of Swords is here. Whoa. Somebody was called to you, okay? But what I'm getting is this is the energy of someone who has been shut off or closed out like you as well. Mm-hmm. Flip and switch these energies. But this is somebody standing on business when it comes to this here. Mm. Could be an air sign. Give me the Hierophant Spirit for Aquarius. The Hierophant for Aquarius. Thank you, Spirit. All right. You close out a cycle. Yeah, you definitely close out. This is a cycle closing out. There was balance brought. Look, and you're moving forward overall energy, the chariot, okay? You could be dealing with a cancer. We got Aquarius energy out here. As well as we have water, Pisces Scorpio Cancer Energy, okay? Definitely got some Taurus out here. So, beautiful ones. I'm going to clarify the world with the Hierophant for my Aries. The world with the Hierophant. Thank you, Spirit, for Aries Energy. Aries. It's speed. All right. A king of wands. You close out a cycle on the king of wands. And they're trapped in their head. 
Yeah, that's what's happening, Aries. That's what's happening in the energy, okay? So, I want to run some clarification and we're going to close out. Seven of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Seven of Swords and the Knight of Cups for my Aries. All right, you got flippers. Wow. Destiny, they're holding on tight. And there is this energy of you still being protective, blocking, okay? You could be dealing with a Capricorn or Leo in this energy. Uh-huh. But it's something that is connected to your destiny that someone's holding on to this energy, this emotional love offer that's coming in that someone definitely wants to invest in you. It's this King of Swords energy who's standing on business when it comes to this Four of Wands and this new beginning. And you close the cycle on the King of Wands energy, okay? The Most High had to step in, okay? Uh-huh. Ancestors, your army of angels is what i just heard okay beautiful ones aries that is your read i'm sending so much peace and love to you all i'll see you back in the energy okay let's talk about it we are going into taurus okay taurus 1622 1622 for taurus all right Beautiful, beautiful Taurus babes. Venus babes. You are Venus babes as well. Oh, wow. Overall energy uh, for Aries is the devil, okay? Yeah, I saw Capricorn out there. So, FYI for my Aries energies, okay? If you are still here. Yeah, let's talk about it. Taurus energy. Taurus energy. Taurus energy. Hmm, somebody is looking for balance. Uh-huh. A healing with a king of cups energy. A water sign, possible Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going straight to the tarot. We got to get you some higher self, Taurus. Mm-hmm, higher self for my beautiful Taurins. Uh-huh. Yeah. Torians. Uh -huh. Yeah, my Torians. That's your name. For my Torians. I have to come up with something for my Taurus, babies. Being told to manifest, okay? In this energy, we got the full moon coming in, the blue super moon, okay? Aries. Aries energy. All right. Listen, okay? Yeah, Aries, don't be stubborn, okay? Listen. Listen, Linda, okay? Uh-huh, I heard that. Spirit ain't playing. They know, Spirit knows you best. Listen. You're being told to listen to the sounds and the synchronicities. Beautiful ones. There are messages coming through at this time. Gratitude. Give gratitude to the universe, all right? Thank, be thankful in this energy. This is superpower, okay? And the last card is freedom. It'll free you. That's what I'm hearing. You're looking for more freedom. Mm-hmm, Taurus. You're looking for, you, you freed yourself from a situation is what I'm getting because this, listen, it has a bird, okay? So definitely, you know, you're going to get Word from the ancestors. I mean, you're going to have channel messages coming through. And give gratitude for them, okay? This heightens the frequency of them as well as the communication, all right? And you freed yourself. You're looking for more freedom and you're finding new ways to do that is what I'm getting for your energy. Fear is here for you too, Taurus, okay? It's something that you're... You're not being a bull about, okay? Mm, scared to be happy? Are you scared to be happy? Wow, beautiful ones. I'm also going to... I'm going to, in the description section, put the song that is the download for the week, okay? It's the download for the week. And it's pertaining to this energy right here, Taurus, Okay? So, yeah, every month I'm going to implement a downloaded song.
for the collaborative in the all signs reading all right excuse any background noises we're going to move on this is the message you're being told to listen give gratitude to the universe and you found a new sense of freedom what you going to do with it is the question for those of you who are new to the channel i stay by all locomotive public transportation yes i do and baby you're gonna hear a little bit of all of it all right <laughs> i hope you like it and enjoy it i do i'm a city girl and believe it or not this is a quiet city i just stay by where to get to all of the transportation which is our subway okay but it's called BART here in California, North Side. Aries energy. Aries energy. I'm pulling the cosmic insights for you all, okay? Someone else is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this, okay? Manifest. Manifest comes out for you twice. Definitely, look, the spirit is telling you to manifest. It's something about your person, okay? That's what I'm getting, all right? So keep manifesting because you manifested one another is what I'm getting. Tell the universe exactly what you want, okay? That's what it says. T look, the universe does not operate off of confusion. All right, beautiful ones? The universe operates at the consistency of your manifestations, your desires, the energy that you put into it, the time, right? That's those pinnacles. Give it time. It's like plant the seed. And we saw this energy of you... In a place of fear, overall energy, don't be scared to plant these new seeds. Manifest. If it's something that you want, and it could be particularly someone, and you know that it's good for you. You know that, you know, this is something that is real for you. Beautiful ones. Manifest it, okay? What else are you here to do? Sit by and watch everything you want. Leave, okay? Because you don't have a desire enough for it. I'm not saying stop anybody. I mean, if it wants to leave, let it leave, all right? But if you want it and you know it wants you back because it's energy, right? Manifest it. You want a car? It doesn't have to be a person. Air sign, okay? And somebody could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, okay? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gonna sip some tea, beautiful ones. Be sure to sip yours. Welcome to Tarot Talk and Tarot Talking <laughs> with these beautiful astronomical astrology lessons that we get here, right? Yeah, working with these energies. Yeah, somebody needs to spend more time with their pets. Mm-hmm. Or if you have a pet, uh, if you want a pet, someone could be getting a pet. Someone could be thinking about buying a pet, all right? Be careful with the gambling. That's an addiction, all right? That's what spirit has for you, my beautiful, beautiful Taurus babes. Let's get into it. Let's go straight into the tarot. Cards for Taurus. Cards for Taurus. And I'll go a little past the sand glass, beautiful ones, for you all, because I know I took a little bit of time from you. Just a little bit. But I'll give it right back. Uh huh. Uh huh. Cards 
for my beautiful Taurus energies. Cards for my beautiful Taurus energies. Okay. The Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles. Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. I, this is going to be a powerful read. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. Wow. And then when I say that, justice falls into my hands. Somebody could be dealing. That's that air sign. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. Uh-huh. Taurus energy. And you guys both share Venus together. So it's a, it's a love situation. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Hmm. Wow, justice keep trying to fly out. Taurus, thank you. Wow. What? Look. It had to come out. Taurus, it's some serious justice happening in this energy. This is Libra energy. Okay? It's some balance being made in this energy. Wow. I, I don't care how much I shuffle. It was going to come out. Spirit, give me the three of pentacles. Okay. So this is some type of um, hidden information when it comes to a collaboration, okay? And it's something that has to do with destiny, right? Overall energy. Destiny and the four of cups. Some type of proposal. Give me the Hierophant spirit. Give me the Hierophant. Thank you. All right. Queen of Swords. Mm hmm. More air energy. It came out in your oracle. Someone's definitely dealing with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Overall energy is the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. Give me the Queen of Swords with the Hierophant. Thank you. Somebody standing on business. Oh, yeah. It's a nine of pentacles energy. Standing on business. Uh-huh. Someone self-sufficient. And just doing their thing. You got nine of pentacles. This is a solid foundation that is being built. Chariot is here. Overall energy. Cancer energy wants to go towards this energy. Somebody could be a Virgo. You could be a Virgo Libra Cusper as well. Hmm. Give me the Eight of Wands for Taurus. Eight of Wands. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. The devil. Somebody, ooh, a king of wands is the overall energy. Somebody big mad and they want to say bad things, okay? <laughs> yeah, they do. Are They're obsessing over having a conversation. Yeah, they're in hermit mode right now watching. Yeah. Someone sees you as abundant as well, okay? Give me the devil. All right. Wow. Four of cups and the will of fortune comes out. Someone's not interested in some type of um, karmic connection. <clears throat> mm -hmm. This is the will of fortune. Yeah. And someone's not interested in it. This is something that definitely, this is a part of some destiny, some dealings. Uh-huh. But someone is four cups to it. They're bored. They're disinterested with the devil. Uh-huh. And they don't care if it's a part of their destiny or not. They are definitely enlightened. Someone is being sacrificed in the energy. Give me the justice. Thank you. That's why justice was like, uh-uh, you're going to take me. And I was shuffling, shuffling. And it just kept coming up and jumping into my arms, beautiful ones. Taurus, Taurus energy. Tur All right, let's talk about it. 
four look bound whoa taurus <laughs> this 11 11 okay silent foundation and this is you know the energy of people that come together blissfully happy happily with a union, okay? A marriage proposal as well. It could even be a new baby beginning, but you'll be winning in this energy or the energy of winning takes place. This is something that is victorious, okay? Somebody could even get some public recognition in this energy that leads to um, some type of collaboration. Um, Queen of Wands, some type of affiliation with other entities outside of this couple is what I'm saying. I, I'm hearing business. I'm seeing standing on business, like some business matters. This is a nine of pentacles that's here with a queen of swords energy. Give me the four of wands for Taurus. Four of wands for Taurus. With the justice. Come on now. All right, bam. Look, a new beginning for real, for real. Uh, someone really wants to go towards this passionate new beginning in the energy, okay? And it's the Knight of Wands energy, and you, it's an empress. You're the empress, Taurus. You're the empress, okay? Yeah, so, and it's this King of Wands energy. That's in your energy who wants to move forward in the chariot, okay? All they do is think about this. Taurus, that's what's going on in your energy, all right? So in, if this is not something that you fancy or that you want, beautiful ones, be sure to protect your energy. I'll be adding a cord cutting link at the end of this video, all right? Beautiful ones, to help the collaborative. I'm going to try to be mindful to add this during the all signs so you can all come back to them, all right? Beautiful Taurus, we are going to go ahead and move into the next energy i want to send so much peace and love to you all taurus gemini is up next we're starting gemini off at 32 20 okay beautiful gems all right peace and love to my taurus babes okay Gems, where have you been? Where have you been, Gems? Let's talk about it. I got a thing going on with some gems. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody may be named Mrs. Jones, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. We got a thing. Mrs. Jones, me and Mr. Jones, me and Mr. Jones, okay, let's talk about it, uh-huh, yeah, like the Joneses, somebody could be, what, well, like the Kardashians, some, you know, somebody wants to be like my gym is what I'm getting, yeah, worry is here, cards for Gemini, all right, wow, somebody's worried about failing at something, intuition okay you're being told to use your intuition this is worry here gems you're out here worrying look spirit is telling you to trust first of all overall energy okay gemini your air so trust in the breath that you breathe okay worry is here <clears throat> some of you could be having some headaches all right um worrying too much yeah too much worry. Worrying for nothing is what I'm hearing. Failure. You could be feeling like something failed in the energy. Yeah. You could feel like something that you wanted, Gemini. It wasn't something you accomplished in the energy, okay? Intuition. You're being told to tap into your intuition. Your third eye is open right now, okay? May need to do a third eye cleansing, a chakra cleansing. You're being told to trust, trust in the process, beautiful ones, okay? 
Yeah. Failure is an uncontrolled emotion. Because you can always do something again. Uh-huh. Let's get the true emotionals out here for you all. Spirit, give me cards for my beautiful gems. My beautiful gems. What's going on with Gemini? What's going on with Gemini? Cards for Gemini. Cards for Gemini. Yeah. It's me. All right. Okay. What else? We'll pull about 40s. All right. That one and this one. True colors. Okay. Wow. Jezebel is the overall energy. Okay. Hmm. Some of you could be dealing with the Aries. Okay. Yeah, Jezebel came out for them. Someone is dealing with a Jezebel, okay, in the energy. That's what's going on. So, let's talk about what came out. True colors. And I heard, I see your true colors shining through. Yeah, because that's why I love you. So, don't be afraid. To let them show. Yeah, I'm corny. True colors are beautiful. Like a rainbow. Yeah, beautiful ones. Yeah, that's why mm, I'm understanding the message. So someone has been trapped in fear. Remember, that's your overall energy. Um, in the higher self and you cannot be scared or afraid to be who it is you truly are okay someone has a love child in the energy love child uh-huh yeah somebody got a secret baby somewhere or wants to make a love child is what i see as well okay some of you may want a love child <laughs> i don't know about that one right there hopefully you just love your child with your partner right but somebody wants a spirit baby is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Someone could be pregnant with a spirit baby right now. Because it's made out of love. And love is spirit. Mm -hmm. Love and hate. It's a love-hate relationship that's here. Okay? Not a healthy relationship to be in. Someone that hates you like they love you. Nah. Secrets are here. There are definitely some secrets that aren't being spoken. Things are hidden, and it's possibly that Jezebel, okay? Odds are it is the Jezebel, my beautiful gem. So let's talk about it. Let's get into this energy, Gemini. Mm, it's the Two of Cups energy is what I'm getting. We got the Two of Swords and the Two of Cups when I split the deck. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra and a Cancer. Uh-huh. Air sign. Air and water situation. Okay. Or have that energy somewhere in a chart. Gemini. Okay. Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Cards for gems. Six of Swords. Aquarius. Air energy. Mm-hmm. Six of Swords. What else? Three of Wands, Taurus. Let's talk about it. Aries, excuse me. Three of Wands is Aries. We got the Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. All right. Beautiful ones. This is the Six of Swords. Someone's moving forward. They're looking at expansion. <clears throat> Gemini in this energy. 
Three of Wands. You could possibly be traveling. You could be taking a trip, even being guided, okay, in this energy to take a trip or travel across a body of water. Water is, you know, it's a lot of water in this. It's a lot of water in this whole spread right here, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And even the ice is water because someone feels left out in the cold. Look, Aries, you're being guided to move forward in this energy, but there's a three of wands. There's some something passionate you're about. You're wanting to travel somewhere in the energy. You know, you're passionate about it. You could be taking a trip, planning a trip, okay? And this is an eight of cups energy. You leaving all the, all the BS behind, okay? And going towards something better. And you may find that in your endeavors okay some of you are making plans to do this and waiting on some ships to come in um because you've manifested this you've already it's already in your mind okay it's in your subconscious it's you put it in the ethers all right five of pentacles is here and it's snow this is water more water it's a lot of emotions eight cups already right Somebody feels left out in the cold. It could be some financial issues. We'll see. Give me the six of swords for Jen. Six of swords for Jen. It's free. Mm, that's too many. The spirit said this one. Eight of Wands. Okay, yeah. This is some type of um, forward movement. Like, like I said, you've been manifesting in this energy. This is the Page of Pentacles. But the Eight of Wands is about communication. It's really about expression of passion. Okay, passionate expression. To be passionate in your expressions. And you're being moved forward. You're being guided. This is something assisted... For you to go into a safer place, clearer waters. Mm -hmm. Give me, you're manifesting this energy. And you could even be in your head about, you know, where is it exactly you want to go? Yeah, the world, I, when I split the deck. Yeah. Uh-huh. Some type of travel. Some type of um, communication with someone who you see is a wish fulfillment. You can live at a distance from this energy is what I'm getting. Flip and switch these energies. Give me the eight of wands with the six of swords for Jim. All right. Ten of wands. You have some type of burdens when it comes to this nine of cups energy. Getting your wishes fulfilled. Give me a three of wands for my gems. All right. Wow. It's the empress. Somebody wants to go towards the empress. And like nobody's business. We got the Knight of Wands to come out with the Empress. Like, I don't want her to go nowhere if I ain't coming. Ooh, take that how you take that. Okay, Gemini. Overall energy is new love. Page of Cups. Mmm. Page of Cups. Give me the Eight of Cups, Spirit, for my gems. All right. Someone is in hermit mode right now. Someone could have walked away from some things, right? It could be a Pisces placement who walked away from some things. Virgo is here as well with the hermit. They're definitely watching during this energy of seeing what's going on with you, but having some introspection as they walk away, you know? All right. Wow. Somebody wants to heal something in the energy, okay? This is somebody definitely keeping faith. Six of Pentacles is some type of, you know, equal exchange or give and take. Somebody wants to give to a situation. They want to provide. They want to nurture something, okay? And it's a hermit energy who's walked away from something somewhere, okay? Wow. They walked away from a tennis sport situation, okay? Yeah, someone could have Virgo, like I said, in their chart. Give me the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles for my gems. All right, the, hour, the glass, the sand the glass is gone out. I'm going to get ready to close up. Beautiful gems. All right. 
strength is here. Wow. Someone feels left out in the cold. This is somebody could feel abandoned even. <clears throat> and they're trying to be strong in this energy and move on. Yeah, chariot with some force. This is powerful. Like somebody, what someone who was left or made to feel abandoned in any form or fashion, it was a strength for them. It put some power under their feet. They started working. Uh huh. They started pouring themselves into their work. They have a skill set, something they're good at doing <clears throat> that they're making money at. Okay, excuse me. I'm going to sip some tea. Give me the strength with the five of pentacles. Thank you, spirit. All right, look. These two jumped out. Chaos, confusion, all right? Five of wands, eight of swords. Just some competition, okay? It's some fighting that has gone on with it. Somebody wants to move forward from that energy. They don't want to be around that. Give me the five of wands. Gemini. All right. Wow. Hierophant is here. Someone is definitely protected through this. But it's definitely been some deceit, okay? Ten swords. This has happened over a period of time. This just didn't happen last night. I split the deck. There's some moderation, some balance that's being brought to the situation. <clears throat> With the higher fin being here, beautiful ones. Yeah, someone has been, look, conniving you and has been on the home front. You could live with this person. This person is in the energy. It's been a death put to a situation because mm -hmm, this energy was operating from the energy of a spirit, a demon. Gems, this is your reading, okay, beautiful ones? If this resonates with you, be sure to hit that like button. I love you. I'm sending so much so much peace and love to my beautiful, beautiful gems. My beautiful gems. Love ya. Okay, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. <clears throat> beautiful ones. We're going to be moving on to my cancers. My cancer babies. Hurry down the chimney tonight. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Hurry down the chimney. <laughs> cancers, 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 cancers. My beautiful cancers. Let's get into this energy. All right. Just prepping the cards for you. Make life a little easier on the Empress. We're going to start off with your higher self oracle. Okay, beautiful cancers at 408, 4808, it was 4808, okay? That breaks down to a two, 4808. Mm. All right, beautiful ones, cancer babies. Something about the chimney, some of you could be roofers, someone could work in construction, someone could be building a house, someone could be buying a house, someone could be living under a new roof is what I'm getting, okay? Yeah, cancers. Let's talk about it. What's going on with my beautiful cancers? Uh, numerically, you bust down to a number two. Definitely, cancer is the two of cups energy. I'm feeling that energy. These are channel messages, beautiful ones. Let's talk about it, cancers. All right. Wow, forgiveness. Forgiveness, and this is two. Uh-huh, let's talk about it, cancers. Cancer energies. Spirit, give me cancer. Thank you. Wow, fear is here for you, too. Wow, you could be dealing with a Taurus energy and even an Aries, I believe. Came out in one of your readings. Anger. Woo! We're going to stop right there. And I've been pulling three for everyone. Confusion. Somebody's very confused in this energy. They're very confused. This is, again, crown chakra cleansing for my cancers, all right? The other zodiac. So I feel like it's needed throughout this energy right now. Let me start your, the sand glass, okay? Forgiveness is here. 
You're being told to forgive in this energy, all right? You could be in a place of fear. Uh -huh. You could be looking for forgiveness. You could be wanting forgiveness. Somebody could want to forgive you, you know? But there is a... Forgiveness comes from two, all right? Either a person, place, a situation, but something has to have the energy of an uh, open heart to offer forgiveness. And it doesn't come from a, pl a place of fear, okay? So it's fear here in the energy, okay? And someone is scared to be in the energy of asking for forgiveness is what I'm getting because they're holding on to anger, okay? Possibly anger that has nothing to do with this gentle connection. I see a gentle connection here. I don't see people angry, all right? Someone is holding on to this energy of anger, though. It exists, and it could exist previously from the past. It's a lot of confusion around energy. Someone's confused. They don't know how to move in this energy. Gratitude, offer of gratitude to the universe. I'm going to clarify the anger, okay, beautiful ones? Cancer. All right. Uh -huh. Give me cancer. Thank you. Balance. Yeah, somebody needs to be balanced in this energy. Someone could even balance. This is scales, energy. This is balance. Someone could be in this energy of just really needing to weigh their odds their options that's what i'm getting and it's going to create a balance because it's going to subside this energy of anger and offer up forgiveness okay yeah this is creating your own balance so that you can be in a place of forgiveness and not a place of anger mm, okay beautiful ones let's get into it let's see what's going on i'm gonna do the true emotions for you all yeah. Cancer energies. So it's some true emotions because your sign represents emotions in the tarot. Happily single. Someone could be happily single, but they miss someone. Or someone misses them. I miss you. I miss you. Happily single, doing you, dating, stress-free, setting goals, and career-focused. All right, I like it. I like it. That could be a new status for someone, okay? Oh, wow. Look. And a divine feminine is in the background, okay? Yeah. Mm, so is a pregnancy. Someone holding on to memories as well. <clears throat> Let's talk about it. Cancer. Cards for cancer. Thank you. Jackass. Somebody's a jackass in your energy cancer. They are. Somebody's being a jackass. You know who that is, right? I guess that's subject to opinion, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Somebody's turning their back. They're turning their back on someone, okay? Shocking news. Someone could have seen something online. Uh-huh. Yeah been shocked by the news cancer cancer all right gps is here <clears throat> someone could be traveling okay i won't go straight to somebody having a gps on their car because you know chances are a lot of cars are coming with gps already right so someone could be traveling and leaving it came out with goodbye bye bye there's a cancer energy that's telling somebody bye. I mean, they could be dipping off into the sunset. Uh-huh. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Somebody could be taking a road trip is what I'm getting. Someone's fucked up over you. Someone's fucked up over you or you're fucked up over somebody. Okay. What's going on? Okay. With my beautiful cancers. Let's talk about it. Let's get right to it. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> yeah, I got cancer in my chart, too. I got cancer and Pisces. I got water. I'm so emotional. Yeah, I am. I can be very emotional. Queen of Swords and a Hermit. Okay, somebody's watching a Queen of Swords energy air sign. Uh-huh. Yeah, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. 
Hermit, Virgo. You can have Virgo placement as well. Doing some introspection is what I'm getting. Someone could work in the legal field. Wow. Whoa. These came out in reverse. Let's see where, where the reverse ends. It ends there. Wow. Not going to take all of them, but I see what's happening. Someone is a liar. Okay, look, we got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. This is why that confusion. You guys had confusion to come out? Fear. Balance needed. Anger. Forgiveness. And the overall energy was... Some of you need to cleanse your energy. You do. But yeah, I'm not sure. I think I shuffled again or something. But I felt like I saw confusion in the energy. So let's talk about it. Anywho, there's a king of swords. Somebody is, look, they're malicious right about now. Okay? This is a malicious liar. In the energy possible Aquarius, this is air, okay? Someone's dealing with air energy. You can have this in your chart as well, but let's talk about it. Cancer. More air. Swords, five of swords. Someone could have walked away from something. Definitely it was a competition here. Somebody feeling like they wanted to have some type of war or the battle, uh-huh. Someone's been in their head stressed out about this energy, okay? Nine of Swords energy. There's been some anxiety in the energy. Ace of Swords is in the reverse, okay? This is, you know, something didn't work out the way somebody wanted. The energy, overall energy is the will of fortune. That's here, okay? So, look, this is something that is definitely faded in the energy. The... Ace of Swords, beautiful ones, and reverse is confusion in itself, okay? Yeah. This is some obstacles and some indecision. And it could also be something that is destructive or some destruction has happened in the energy. Now, this King of Swords in reverse, <clears throat> excuse me, air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. This energy is somebody who's abusive. They're very manipulative. So there's, a, and even considered inhumane, all right? Yeah. They like to control. They like to be the judge and the jury, okay? Yeah. This is that energy. So they're there, <laughs> okay? And we'll tap into it. Five of Swords, definitely some type of competition I'm getting, okay? I'm hearing, you know, it was more than one in the mix. It was at least three energies involved. Nine of Swords, some stressful nights, can't sleep, anxiety. Give me the Ace of Swords in reverse. Where's the obstacles and confusion at for my cancers? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, please. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, we got two. Wow. Okay. A queen of pentacles. Who? This is Sagittarius earth energy. All right. Queen of pentacles energy. This is somebody who could be a mother figure. But overall, they get their own money. Okay. Uh-huh, they're Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, somebody wants to converse with a Queen of Pentacles. This is a message. Someone was told a lie. Someone is confused when it comes to a Queen of Pentacles who they see as a Two of Cups energy, a divine union, a divine partner in the energy, okay? Wow, give me the, queen, the King of Swords in reverse. Someone is, you know, off the hook, feeling some type of way, mad. Mm, wow, three cards shot out. I'm taking them. Whoa. 
And this is not in the reverse. My goodness. All of them came out in reverse for this king of pent. This king of swords who's in the reverse. Look, Cancer, you got someone that's in your energy who's a six of cups. They don't want to grow up. This is someone who could even be from a karmic past life, okay? But they're immature. They're malicious. They out here tripping, okay? They could be an air sign. They could have a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra placement. They don't want to grow up. This is an immature person. And they are feeling like... <laughs> I feel like they feel like you're causing them some type of burdens, all right? Because this is the Ten of Wands that's in the reverse. This is somebody having a nervous breakdown. This is a breakdown. Somebody's burnt out. They're tired. They're feeling under pressure. You applying pressure somewhere for this energy, okay? Yeah. Their will of fortune is in reverse. Look, they lost their way. Uh-huh. It's like somebody fell off the track and they don't feel like they got no get back. This whole entire row is in the reverse. This king of swords in reverse is jacked up. And it's like they watching you win. That's what I'm getting. This is why they feeling all it is. Mm. You could have a Leo placement, Cancer. Let's talk about it. Give me the five of swords. Five of swords for my Cancer. Wow. Wow. Sam Glass has came out. We're going to get ready to close out, but we're going to tap into this energy and see what's going on, right? Six of Swords. Okay, so look, somebody... This is Six of Swords with the three. It's Nine of Swords. I mean, excuse me, Five of Swords. So this Five of Swords energy... With the six, that's 11. Somebody wants to restart. Somebody wants to put the swords down and move forward in the energy, okay? Yeah. Uh-huh. And this is Aquarius energy. This is with an air sign. And it could be, look, this queen of swords energy, more air energy, more swords, okay? Which makes the 10th sword. So something happened along the lines of some type of deceit or something in the energy, okay? Uh-huh. We got five and six, 11. Somebody wants to retake. They want to restart. This could be a twin flame energy or something, right? And I'm, I'm going back to this King of Swords as whole life is out of whack right now, right? Possible Aquarius energy, more air. And look, the lovers is behind the queen of swords and what's sticking out is the eight of cups somebody has moved on towards the energy of a possible pisces uh placement uh-huh uh-huh yeah you could have pisces in your chart give me this energy of the six of swords with the five of swords spirit for my cancers my beautiful cancers thank you cancer energy yeah, things have been rough is what I'm getting in this energy. Espri. Okay. Yes, look, you could be retreating, all right? You could have a Pisces placement as well. You uh, More Libra energy, more air, okay? You could be thinking about the energy, uh, uh, air energy, okay? This is definitely somebody retreating. Someone <clears throat> in this energy of thinking about things and needing some rest, okay? There are some things that are hidden. They're not being discussed. This is, you know, also emotions, cancer. This is you, okay? This is Pisces energy. Wow, and it's involving an empress. It's involving an empress energy. Uh-huh. This is like something isn't being said. You're holding something in. You think about this energy at night is what I'm getting, all right? You rule the moon. This is the moon. Uh-huh. And you're connected to an empress energy. If this isn't you, who is a nine of pentacles energy? They could be single or just self-sufficient. Uh-huh. You want some balance in this energy? Temperance is here. Uh-huh. Four of wands. This could be a soulmate union. 
Wow, this is that 11. This is that 11, 11, 11. Let's talk about it. Give me the nine of swords for my cancer. Nine of swords for my cancer energies. Thank you. Yeah, it's been some stress. Some sleep was nice, and I totally see it in this energy, okay? Let's see. Yeah, some grief and regret. Some grief and regret. Someone could have a, look. Somebody, look, family, this is the energy of feeling some type of, you know, a legacy, a connection. I'm, I'm just, like, feeling, ooh, I'm feeling a deep connection. King of Wands energy, a fire sign. Okay, you can have fire in your chart. You can have a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius placement. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm. Let's talk about it. Give me the Five of Cups. Thank you. Cause this is Scorpio energy, water. All right, there we go. Yeah, they got that eleven, man. Somebody want to win. Six of Wands. You want to win out here. Uh-huh. With a soulmate connection. A solid foundation. Mutual love. There's some type of proposal of energy. Look. Energy. Air. Libra. This is Libra. This is justice. Okay? It's some balance happening in the energy. And it's justice. There's a decision definitely to be made in this energy. But look, the lovers is poking out. And someone is feeling heartbroken in this energy. Wow. Cancer. Give me the four of wands. And we're going to close out, beautiful ones, because your sand has ran out. <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Somebody had to put a death to a possible marriage or something. Some type of collaboration. Or somebody would have been juggled. And someone now wants to move forward. Okay. They want to expand. They are waiting for their ships to come in. This is somebody that is making plans, possibly even to relocate in the energy, okay? This is what's going on. We got the death, the hierophant, the two of pentacles, and the three of wands, cancer. This is what's going on. So if this resonates, babes, uh-huh, go ahead. Hit that like button. I love you all. I am sending you so much peace, so much love. Wow. Ooh, wasn't expecting all of that, but I enjoyed it. I mean, the ride, the beautiful ones. Beautiful Cancer Energies. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see what's going on. We are moving on into the energy of Leo. Leo, Leo, uh-huh. We're getting into Leo at 107. 10754. 10754. For my beautiful Leos. Beautiful Leos. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's still your birthday. Uh-huh. Not gonna let nobody steal your shine. Although Virgo is trying to take it already. Uh-huh, but happy birthday to my beautiful Leos. This Lionsgate portal has been absolutely beautiful this year. Uh-huh. Somebody has some grief and regret over choices. Uh-huh. Over choices. Uh-huh. Decisions, decisions is what I heard. It could be concerning the Two of Cups energy. All right, let's talk about it. Mm. Just getting these together. We're going to start off with the Higher Self Oracle. Just mixing them up from coming out of Cancer's energy. Leo. Beautiful Leo energies. Leo the Lover. Uh-huh. That's what it is. Leo the Lover. Higher Self Let's talk about it. What's going on with my beautiful, beautiful Leo energies. Beautiful Leo energies. Mm -hmm. I don't know why in my head I just channel. Come alone and ride on a fantastic voyage. Yeah, somebody could be going on a voyage, okay? Leo, someone could be... <laughs> 
traveling fantastic voyage taking a trip ah okay leo all right gratitude is here that's right being thankful spirit is saying you got a reason to be thankful yeah transformation Ooh, lots of changes happening in your energy well you did just have your trip around the sun right uh-huh another trip around the sun for my leos all right you got two to flip we're gonna take these You've been taking three to four, okay? So let's talk about it. Wow. You're being told to listen, okay? There's some information coming through to you through the ethers, okay? Ancestors, spirit guides, angelic angels are trying to speak to you in this energy. Gratitude, Leo. You're being told to tap into gratitude, being grateful in this energy. Turn it up, okay? You could have turned down your gratitude lately. You're being told to turn it up, okay? You're going through a transformation. You could even be trying to figure out, you know, exactly what is going on. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, you know, changes are happening. They're happening fast. But I'm hearing they're happening gracefully is what I'm getting. All right. Yeah. This isn't any. This isn't anything that is, you know, hindering you is what I'm getting. All right. This is something that's happening gracefully. Failure. You could be accepting some things that you feel like you weren't achieving, okay? But I'm hearing to stay in this place of gratitude. And you could turn this failure energy around. You're being told to get out into nature and connect. Because this transformation, it came with new antlers. Look, when we had this buck moon... It's like um, many of you Leos, you change under that moon. Big transformation happened in the energy. But you're being told to ground yourself in this energy, get out into nature, practice some gratitude, all right? Any type of feelings of past um, resentment or anything linked to failure, okay? That needs to be grounded. Uh-huh. It replaced with gratitude is what I'm getting, okay? Because your overall energy here is listening. Listening to the universe, getting the guidance that's needed throughout this transformation. All right? Fear is showing up for everybody. I don't know. It's something about this energy of going into Aquarius, okay? Um, this new moon, this full moon that we got coming up. Fear is showing its face. There, you know, I guess it could be, you know, some fears around a transformation, things that are changing in the energy, right? That don't sit well with everybody, but I just get this energy of gracefulness that's happening with you. Okay? Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. It's like you're going through this process of this transformation gracefully leo energies leo energies what's going on with my leos what's going on with leo i could have some cuspers cancer leo energies as well someone is trying to get in the way of a relationship because that's what i saw right when i shuffled it should be up here now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Someone else. Someone is in the middle of someone is trying to sabotage this. Someone wants to sabotage you in a relationship, Leo. Okay? Yeah. Spirit put that in my eyesight. Like, tell them now. Let go. Let go. Look, a butterfly. This is that transformation that came out. Make room for the, a new beginning. It's on its way to you now, Leo. Okay? And you could be dealing with a gold digger. You could have been dealing with a gold digger. It could be a Taurus, um, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I just got that. Spirit just said, that's that, okay? That is the pentacles, right? They want your money. You're being used, okay? They want your money. 
you're being you somebody wants to use you for resources okay leo what does leo need to know what does leo need to know all right distance is here distance someone could live at a distance you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distanced at this time wow you can live at a distance from someone okay beautiful ones i'm gonna turn my music back on i just realized that i've had it all let's talk about it yeah but you're being told to let go of someone from the past possible earth sign is what i'm getting okay they can have capricorn taurus virgo in their chart make room for something new someone is trying to get in the way of this there's some type of communication that needs to take place leo okay this is about compromise forgive and work it out who got forgive cancer got forgive uh-huh yeah you could have a cancer placement in your energy as well what else for leo all right <laughs> these are the cards give it time mm. everything in divine timing let things flow okay give it time everything is in divine timing let things flow and look beautiful ones what i said is what i said it's the earth sign that gold digger taurus virgo capricorn okay or you just have someone in your energy who is a Taurus, has a prominent placement on in their earth sign. Vacation is here. Something's got, look, someone could be planning a vacation. Someone could be taking a trip. You will be traveling soon. You will be traveling soon, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> let's get into it, my beautiful Leos. You've taken a trip. Take me. Take me away with you. Uh -huh. For real, for real. Let's talk about it. All right. Let's get into this energy, beautiful ones. I want to give you the bulk of a read, okay? A bulk of tarot. want to, you know, use your time wisely. Leo. Leo. My beautiful Leos. Beautiful Leos. Beautiful Leos. Beautiful, beautiful Leos. Beautiful Leos. Give me energy for Leos. Mm, look, that pinnacle. Look, you could um, be having a new beginning when it comes to prosperity and abundance okay you making new choices you putting the death to some things and you leaving it all behind for sure you got a new lover in mind looks like you do uh-huh some burdens have been cast in this energy let's talk about it somebody has you in mind definitely take it slow mm -hmm, that's what i just heard take it slow Beautiful ones, don't forget, I'm going to put the channel song for this reading. Yeah, New Beginning is here, Ace of Wands, okay? Creativity, you could be creating in this energy. Um, wow, yeah, let's talk about it. The channel song will be attached to this reading in the description, beautiful ones. Be sure to listen to the energy so that you can get those downloads and the messages that came through from me to you, beautiful ones, from source to you. Yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, beautiful Leos. You got the Ace of Wands energy. This is your energy out here. You're very passionate about something that you're creating. All right? Woo! Leo, this is your energy too. This is Fire Sign, King of Wands. You're very passionate about something you're creating. That's the truth, okay? You got some clarity along the way. You're sure about what it is you want to do. You got the Hierophant here mm, with the High Priestess. There's that Taurus energy, okay? 
It could be something connected to your spirituality. We'll talk about it because high priestess is next to the higher fan. This is a spiritual union, Leo. Leo, you have a divine spiritual union. This is the highest of heights when it comes to a spiritual connection between you and someone, the higher fit and the high priestess. Wow. Someone wants to create, look, this is for somebody. Somebody's going to have a very powerful spiritual business, okay? Uh-huh. This is, if we want to talk about power couples, this is the top of them, okay? You could be a teacher. You could be seen as a guidance of some sort, okay? You could be the guru when it comes to what it is you do. And your high priestess energy is too, this is the energy of, man, a dynamic force is what I'm getting. And somebody's creating something new and they're trapped in their head about this happening in the energy. Eight of Swords, okay? Yeah, and they're very passionate about it in this King of Wands energy. Wow, this is the truth. Someone feels like there is uh, some type of refusal, some type of missed opportunity possibly. I split the deck with an emperor energy. Somebody who's definitely wanting to boss up in this energy. Wow, you might have someone tripping off of this though. It could be a king of wands energy. It could be another uh, fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius energy. Let's talk about it. Give me the ace of wands for Leo. Ace of wands. Yeah, you're very passionate about creating something you know, so magnetic. I mean, I'm hearing magnetic force. Wow, look. Oh my goodness, these cards want to jump out with it, so I got to let it. Okay, so look, Ace of Wands is here. This is working together with a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Swords. Oh my goodness. This is boss energy. It's like two different energies. Somebody is, you know, more grounded and you have someone who is really about the business, but they stand on business. They're, they're the truth. There's a partnership. What, what I'm seeing with the Eight of Pentacles working together with this energy. This is air and this is earth. This is a grounded situation. The Hierophant is earth energy, Taurus energy. And the High Priestess, this is more earth energy. You know, Virgo, Pisces energy as well. But ultimately, this is a high priestess in the Hierophant that operate a business, an Eight of Pentacles. Something is that it, you do that's good. You're good at it. You can make money off of this and bring in prosperity. All right? Now, Leo, you could have Earth in your chart as well. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. And be this Hierophant energy is what I'm getting, Right? But this Queen of Swords energy, this is about bringing some balance into the energy. Mm-hmm. Bringing some nobility into the energy. Wow. I like it. And this is what this Ace of Wands energy creates. This is mass creation. I love this energy. My goodness. But there's a Four of Cups situation here. Somebody could have, you know, look, somebody wants to invest and they're wondering if it's too late is what I'm getting. So it... Give me the Hierophant spirit. Y'all got me going. Hierophant. Thank you, spirit. Give me the Hierophant. It's me. All right. A death. Wow. Someone could have got out of a relationship possible marriage as well okay yeah uh-huh they are they have the four of cups is still here someone became disinterested someone became bored someone could have been waiting for somebody to end something okay we got the death you could have scorpio in your chart okay let's talk about it give me the high priestess high priestess thank you spirit could be a divorce of some sort, okay? Seven of Swords, okay? Now, there's some type of um sneaky shit going on, okay? Seven of Swords, and the High Priestess knows it. The High Priestess knows it. It's like somebody want to play with a High Priestess and think that she don't pick up on the scent of it, okay? Yeah, Destiny. This High Priestess energy knows that 
someone in this energy is connected to her and this is a spiritual connection so when you're connected to someone in, that's supposed to be in your destiny you feel any type of sense of deception you do okay it's not hard to tell look i can't make it up three of swords three of swords somebody knows when their heart is being punctured okay and when they're possibly being bread crumbed okay this is someone not giving all their time or just their energy is what i'm getting give me the seven of swords in this energy oh okay that's too many i'm not taking all of those there's three of them but i i'm almost uh, <laughs> give me the seven of swords here your sand has run out leo but we're going to clarify these and beautiful ones the three of swords is here some heartbreak behind this energy and overall energy somebody thinks about this at night time okay they're retreating from this energy i get a high priestess energy that has been stabbed and you know very familiar with treacherousness and trickery because what even makes someone go into high priestess mode is the fact that they're questioning something okay this is Libra and Cancer energy. Someone's thinking about possibly traveling towards, it could be traveling towards an air sign or even a Libra. And the Cancer is the energy of a Cancer, possibly one that makes my travels, okay? They can have this in this chart. It doesn't have to be, but this is the energy I'm picking up on because we got the four swords with the chariot. Somebody is contemplating moving forward towards someone, okay? Uh-huh, and give them some reciprocity. They are, uh-huh, because they're linked to their destiny is what I'm getting with this Ace of Pentacles energy here. They want to collaborate in the energy because collaboration is behind the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is some type of power couple energy that's trying to come together. Some things have to get let go of. This is possible a father figure as well with the King of Pentacles coming out, but this is somebody who knows how to run their money. Uh-huh, run it. Uh-huh, run it or run it is what I'm hearing. Okay, yeah, look, three of swords is here, seven of swords. It's like somebody, you know, the high, this high fit energy or just the energy of someone could even be a Scorpio, okay, that has brought forth some heartache and some pain. Give me the eight of swords, eight of swords for my beautiful Leos. Okay, bam, it came out. Four of swords and the chariot, it came out. Look, only thing that's on somebody's mind, Leo, is, you know, trapped in their head about going towards this opportunity i heard missed opportunity I, i'm not gonna hold you that's what i heard overall energy somebody wants to bring some balance to a situation they do let's pull one more and get ready to close out my beautiful leos i'm excited y'all pump my energy up okay give me the four swords four swords for my leos four swords for my leo energy Will of Fortune. My goodness, this is destiny. Somebody needs to find their balance. Yeah, they need to find their balance. Wow, here you are, Leo. You need to find your balance. Uh-huh. And come with the truth. Flip and switch these energies. You know if it's you, all right? Close out a cycle. Uh-huh. On possible... Um, wow. Let's explore this energy. Because... This four of cups is it's showing his face a little bit too often is what I'm getting. So what I'm hearing, beautiful ones, wow, Leo. What I'm hearing, beautiful ones, this four of cups energy, you've been in deep thought about this. You've been doing some soul searching. Yeah, uh-huh. You could even feel like you're tripping, like in your mind, for real, for real. Okay, beautiful ones. This is your read. This is your read. Beautiful Leos, if this resonates with you, be sure to hit the like button. Uh-huh, yeah, support the energy. Uh-huh, I love you right back, all right? I'm sending so much peace and love to my beautiful Leo energies, okay? Leo, we are moving on into this energy of Virgo. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Let me not start you now, my beautiful Virgos. Let me get your deck right and tight. Get it right. Get it tight. Get it right. Beautiful Virgos. You're almost up. 
Somebody could be watching you and they want to come towards you, Virgo, aggressively, assertively. Uh huh. They're not playing out here about the Virgo. <laughs> The Virgie Virg. Beautiful ones. Let's talk about it. Virgo energies. Virgo energies. Virgo energies. Uh, why'd I go and do that? I didn't flip it around right. It's okay. Hmm. Beautiful Virgos. Let's go ahead and get in your energy. We're going to start off with the higher self oracle okay the higher self oracle there we go all right beautiful ones and we're gonna start you off at 130 44 130 44 for my beautiful Virgos. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it, Virgo. What's going on with my Virgos? We're starting off with the higher self, okay? Higher self oracle. Happy birthday. Soon to be birthday, okay? Beautiful ones. Uh-huh. Because by the time next Saturday gets here... You will already be in your season. Some of you have a birthday next week. <laughs> Let's talk about it, Virgo. Are your person, if you're cross-watching? Uh-huh. Okay. Virgo, mad? What you mad about? Okay. There's some anger here. But you on the right path. <laughs> you have to turn up the anger? What's going on? Cleanse your energy. Cleanse the, your energy. You're being told to cleanse your energy. Let's get one more. Yeah, worry. Okay, worry. Wow, Virgo. You got anger to come out. Cancer is angry too, okay? You're not alone. <laughs> Overall energy is dreams. You've been having a lot of messages coming through, through downloads and dreams. Pay attention to them, beautiful ones, okay? You got anger to come out. And anger is an emotion that you can actually control, okay? You know that, right? On the right path. You're on the right path, okay? Mm, I just heard open your heart up. Clear your energy, beautiful ones. Clear your energy. You're being told to clear your energy. This is a cleansing, okay? Perfect weekend to tap into some Spiritual cleansing. Uh-huh. This is a perfect weekend for that. Worry is here. Especially if you're going through a lot of worry and you're dealing with anger, okay? You're on the right path, but you definitely want to cleanse your energy and get rid of this worry, okay? This is some grounding that needs to happen in the energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you could be upset about something is what I'm getting. It's something that has you feeling some type of way, enraged, okay? I'm just going to pull a few of these, okay? Not even, I'm just, Spirit, give me, give me Virgo. Why is Virgo angry? Why is Virgo angry? Cards for Virgo's, Virgo's anger. All right, bam, wow. Feel like somebody sweet talk you did they uh love bomb you uh-huh sweet talk feelings oh you got in your feelings they play with your feelings I, i'm feeling love bombed okay that's what i'm getting i'm feeling like you feel like somebody played with you yeah virgo let's what else what's going on mm, a shame guilt embarrassing and the wrong Okay, so I don't feel like that's you. I feel like whoever played in the energy, okay, in your energy, whenever it was, whatever it is they said, they didn't do, whatever, whatever game they thought they was playing, Virgo, yeah, that's what has you feeling some type of way. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. Dreams. Remember to pay attention to your dreams, beautiful Virgo. All right? There's some messages, some downloads coming through in your dreams, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these here. Cosmic intuitions. Insight, excuse me, cosmic insight. Virgo energies. Virgo. Cards for Virgo. We'll just pull a few of these, okay? Want to get into your reading. You're dealing with a narcissist, okay? You got a narcissist in the energy? It's a no, okay? It's not the right time. If you have a question about is it the right time or if you're feeling like making a move on something, it's not the right time. Cycles are here, okay? Cycles come out. And this is fate. This is about fate. This is about karma. This is something ending and something new beginning. You got something ending in the energy and something new is going to begin, all right? So be patient is what I'm getting. Move on. If someone is unavailable and a waste of time, it is over, okay? So look, this is a message possibly to a cross watcher is what I'm getting. No offense, but it, it felt like that. I felt it like that, okay? Someone, there's a Virgo telling somebody to move on, okay? And Virgo, you could even be feeling like questioning yourself when it comes to a certain circumstance situation it can have something to even do with some of your employment your work is what i'm getting as well uh-huh let's go ahead let's get into this energy okay beautiful virgos virgo energy virgo energy my goodness Definitely a rebirth happening. Your overall energy was the phoenix rising. Mm-hmm. Virgo. Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Wow. One more, Spirit, for Virgo. Mm. Taking the one off the top. Okay. Wow. Okay. Someone definitely, Virgo, is holding on to your energy and it's creating wars. Look, somebody feels like they were in some type of competition with you. This is Leo energy. It could have a Leo in the energy, okay? Five of Wands. It's created some burdens, all right? I'm hearing burdens for them is what I'm getting because you're moving forward. Six of Swords energy, okay? This is Aquarius energy. These burdens, someone, it's a fire sign going through some burdens, okay? It could even be a Sagittarius energy. But this is Five of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Someone is burdened in the energy and it has everything to do with who it is they're affiliated with. Uh-huh. You're moving away from this. This is like none of your business, okay? Yeah, you're getting on from this energy. You could have Aquarius in your chart. But I feel like you're leaving people trapped in their head, okay? Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. People are trapped in their head when it comes to this. Because it's like you're moving towards clearer waters, smoother waters. And people are holding on to your energy or someone in particular is holding on to your energy because it's balance being made. Somebody's getting karma, okay? This reeks of karma, okay? So give me this energy of the five of wands. Thank you, spirit. Very good. All right. Wow. All of these 
going to come out. This is what the fighting is over, okay? First of all, someone is feeling a lot of grief and regret and loss when it comes to your energy. They want to communicate with you, uh-huh. They want to send some type of passionate message, but I'm getting that, you know, this is more Sagittarius energy, okay? I'm getting that. They don't know how to even communicate what it is they feel. They're manifesting you, and this is definitely someone from the past. This is someone you made this person feel like the one is what I'm getting, okay? Six of Cups, you're nostalgic to this energy, okay? Yeah. Could even be a past life connection between you and this person. We got the Ten of Wands here. Let's tap into it. Give me the Ten of Wands. Wow, overall energy is the Two of Cups, okay? Somebody sees you as a divine union, all right, Virgo? They do. They see you as someone who they're supposed to be with, okay, divinely, and they're ready to walk away from it all. Or you could have left this energy. I'm getting that you left this energy to go on towards something different. The next card that just wants to be seen is the devil, okay? Like, it's like you were leaving a devil behind. Look, this foundation that wasn't it, four of wands. Got the four of wands, a new beginning. Yeah, somebody wants the four. You, somebody's mad because you got a new beginning, okay? Give me this ten of wands. Ten of Wands in Virgo's energy. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Yeah, new beginning and going passionately towards you. This Ten of Wands is this is burdensome. This is somebody, this is more fire energy. Somebody wants to lots of fire in your read, Virgo, okay? But um somebody has a lot of passion in this energy and they want to go towards you probably even thinking about their wand because here you are virgo overall energy uh-huh you causing this energy some burdens they feel burdened in their energy when it comes to you okay nine of pentacles all right they see you as it they see you as ooh, a heartbreaker this person could even put ten swords in your back is what i'm getting and now they feel in some type of way uh-huh they feel left out in the cold they do because you're empress energy yeah uh-huh let's talk about it give me this nine of wands someone sees you as the empress that got away that's what i'm getting virgo all right we got flippers wow mm. oh whoa look <laughs> virgo okay look virgo you got the three of pentacles here capricorn energy look someone wants to come towards you and collaborate with you okay this is somebody that even wants to make plans in the energy this is what's burdensome someone is worried about someone coming towards you you even being in this energy of making plans somebody could be making plans and it's an emperor energy because they love you they got the big cup for you you got the emperor with the ace of cups two of wands okay look it's a burden for somebody to see you move on with the emperor energy virgo flip and switch these energies okay but my divine masculine you're moving on with the empress energy it's some type of collaboration that's happening and it's in the energy that you're moving towards this okay look and who's mad about it is a king of wands energy i can't make this up uh-huh all these wands, all this confusion is happening because it is King of Wands energy. This is a possible fire sign energy, a Sagittarius, okay? Because the Emperor is Aries. Somebody could have Aries in their chart or just, you know, are wise, okay? Got a lot of wisdom, a lot of power as well, okay? Mm -hmm. More power than this pusher, okay? Give me this um, Six of Swords for my beautiful, beautiful Virgos. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of cards. I ain't taking all of them, but you winning out here and people see it. You could have a presence in social media even. Wishes fulfilled. Somebody, look, you're moving. Six of Swords energy is you moving forward. You're being guided towards some, you know, softer waters. But there is someone that is stressed and crying and dealing with anxiety when it comes to getting their wishes fulfilled. Uh-huh. Give me the overall energy. The nine of cups to the nine of swords. Yeah, you out here winning. 
it's like somebody sees you moving forward and it's bringing on a lot of uh, anxiety because they see you getting your wishes fulfilled. You're somebody's wish fulfillment. You're out here win winning. You're multitasking is what I'm getting. You're creating a balance in the energy for yourself. Give me the nine of swords with the nine of cups. And we'll clarify this eight of swords and get ready to close out, beautiful ones. You, you got a lot of energy coming out here. Definitely. And somebody feels some type of way because they know that you're going towards a new love energy. There's been a rebirth, some type of beautiful transformation okay has taken place okay you're the phoenix rising and this energy stole your time possibly even some money and your energy uh-huh seven of swords okay and they're realizing like this was my this was my everything okay <laughs> that's what i'm getting that's what i got overall energy is this is seven of pentacles you know you could have planted some seeds look and it's going to lead to the ten of pentacles somebody doesn't want to see you in this emperor energy or with the emperor in your energy flipping switch these energies to do exactly that they're caught up in their head with the eight of swords give me this eight of swords energy you have an emperor in your energy okay yeah look they caught up in their head and heartbroken that's what's going on is somebody going cuckoo for cocoa puffs holding on to your energy four of pentacles okay this car wants to be seen and they see you as a money grabber okay that's what they see they worried about your money they are but i see what you did is you're protected uh -huh, from this energy look you're being protected from this energy of a king of wands i can't make it up you're being protected in this energy beautiful virgos that's what's going on is the energy you were involved with that started a bunch of drama a bunch of chaos a bunch of lines stealing and all of that okay and you moved on and you bossed up in this energy. You learned the lesson and you have manifested an emperor energy. Yeah, beautiful ones. That's what time it is, my beautiful Virgos. This is your read, okay? I'm sending you so much love. So much love, beautiful Virgos. Libra's up. Uh huh. Libra. 147. 10 147 10 for my Libras peace and love to my beautiful Virgos we're transiting into the energy of Libra Libra I'm just getting your cards together uh-huh for when we pull the tarot for my beautiful Libras I hope you're doing lovely Yes, you know that I wish for all of those beautiful things for you. Let's talk about it. Libra, what's going on? How y'all feeling out here? How are you feeling? How are my Libras feeling out here? Sip some tea. Welcome to <laughs> my beautiful Libras. Home of Libras, okay? Look, beautiful ones, welcome to our new saturday edition this takes a lot of energy to do this is our first one let me know leave me a comment and how do you like having an all signs reading on a saturday it kills all the birds in the bush for me but it takes a lot of energy and it gives you a chance to explore more energy that lies from within inside of you my beautiful ones Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Energy for Libra. My beautiful Libras. Yeah. Let's talk about it. What's going on with the Libra? Of course. Of course. There we go. Okay, we got the four to come out for you. You know what to do. Libra, let's talk about it. Mm. Vision. Vision. You could be having a lot of visions right now. You have the vision, okay? You're a visionary is what I'm getting, okay? You're a visionary Libra. Mm -hmm. You are. You're the light. Many of you are light workers out here. Uh huh. Many of you are working that light and it's shining. Okay. You got the vision. I'm being told that your third eye is wide open. You're really seeing things in a clearer state. You're being told to take the first step. You're always being told to take the first step. 
Libra, okay? It could be something that you don't want to do, okay? But it's going to be crucial to your destiny is what I'm getting. Take the first step because you're not alone. You got ancestors to back you up, okay? So it's something that you could have been in the energy of, you know, holding back from is what I'm getting, all right? Look, you're a healer. You're a light worker out here. You're out here working in light. Practice gratitude in this energy. We got this full moon that is here. I'm going to sip some tea. And we're in the shadows of it right now. Put your stones and your crystals out and you make some moon water, beautiful ones. Gratitude is here. Gratitude is here, okay? Step into the energy of some gratitude, beautiful ones. I have a channel song that will be attached to this video. And these videos, of course, are time stamped if you are here. So I want to pull a bonus card from my Leo. Uh-huh, spirit. Oh, somebody could be dealing with a Leo. Because I'm definitely talking about Libra. Somebody's dealing with a Leo, okay? Let go. Somebody may need to let go of a Leo, okay? Or a circumstance or situation with a Leo and practice patience. Be in this energy of patience when it comes to this Leo energy, okay? That's the message. I don't know. It came through like that, beautiful ones. It came through like that. This is higher self. Let's talk about it. I'm going to go ahead and pull some cosmic energy for you. Mm -hmm. Cosmic insights. Cosmic insights for my beautiful Libras. Beautiful Libras. Beautiful Libras. Beautiful Libras. Libras. What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know? All right. Okay. Ooh, all right. Challenges and divorce comes out. And gambling, okay? Wow. Sexuality is here again for you, Libra. Overall energy. Someone is still figuring themselves out. Communicate, compromise, forgive, and work it out. Ooh, this is a sticky one. Someone is confused about their sexuality, okay? Either this is you or your person. Okay? It doesn't have to be either one of you. You know what it is, okay? Or do you? <laughs> Communicate. It's a compromise. Forgive and work it out. This is what's in the energy. There's some challenges, okay? This is about making a decision and working on some inner healing, okay? Yeah, some of you need to make a decision to work hopefully, soulfully, and purposefully in your inner healing. is going to remove some of these challenges, okay? It is. It's definitely going to remove some challenges. Somebody could be going through a divorce, experiencing a breakup as well okay so either this is a legal separation or someone just going through a breakup all right gambling is here and someone may have an addiction to gambling problems with addiction or gambling our finances this might be a part of this challenge my ears are ringing somebody has gambling issue okay they could be going through a divorce a separation a breakup as well okay Someone in this energy is having some issues when it comes to knowing what it, what it is they want. They want the cat or the bat, okay? Yeah. Hmm. Open up your heart. You're always being told to do that. But it showed me that as well as honeymoon. Somebody could be in the honeymoon stage. One of my beautiful Libras could have started something recently and it's seeming really sweet right about now right it's really tasty right about now right Libra let's go ahead let's get into this energy <laughs> the spirit is telling me to just pull a few true emotionals for you uh -huh. Libra Libra what does Libra need to know what does Libra need to know Give Libra some energy. Thank you, Spirit. What does Libra need to know? 
Okay, what else? Deeper. All right. Overall energy is blocked. You could have blocked someone. Someone is also probably calling you from blocked spam numbers. You could be having some spam numbers pop up a little too often. Someone's getting readings on you. Okay, they are. And someone could be dealing with a thug or it could be a thug who's getting readings on you. Someone's definitely trying to find out information about you and what you got going on, okay? That's why Spirit wanted me to tap into this energy. So I can let my beautiful leavers know what's really going on, all right? So let's talk about it. Let's get right into it. We still have a few more zodiacs. Look, I spit the deck to the Empress and the Ace of Swords. You the truth. You the truth, Ruth. Okay. You could be celebrating soon. Okay. Or somebody wants to celebrate with you. They in hermit mode right now. But you the truth. Okay. You got some clarity, is what I'm getting in the energy. Some clarity on some things. All right. It's like you're clear. You weren't clear at first. Okay. Is what I'm getting. But you're very clear now. Okay. It's like all these visions, these different downloads that have been coming to you, like, it ain't hard. You've been getting it. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving those cards out. Spirit said leave those cards out. They're part of your read. Mm -hmm. You could be dealing with a Leo energy who feels some type of devilish ways about you. Let's talk about it. The Magician and the Page of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. Oh, somebody's manifesting some type of communication between you all. They're definitely a magician in your energy. You got the Nine of Pentacles that's out here. I'm only taking four cards, all right? And a Queen of Pentacles that's here. So this is both Earth energy, all right? So I'm going to put the Nine of Pentacles here because evidently I'm feeling like somebody, of course, wants to offer, make a solid offer to a Queen of Pentacles energy. Or this Queen of Pentacles energy knows that there is a solid offer going elsewhere, okay? Put this with these energies. That's what I'm getting. Give me the Magician for my Libras. Magician for my Libras. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Wow. Three of Swords. This is Libra. Libra. Somebody's manifesting in this energy because they feel heartbroken when it comes to you. Okay? They see you as a Ten of Cups, somewhere where they can take their hat off and call the place home. Mm, they're obsessing over your energy devil energy okay they want to come towards you chariot this is somebody that really want to be in your energy my goodness give me the three of swords with the magician they see you as a queen of cups energy sweet nurturing caring loving uh-huh they definitely see you for who you are even for a new perspective you could have sacrificed somebody in the energy i split the deck they're watching you. They're really doing some thinking right now, going in. They could have a Virgo placement. Give me the Page of Pentacles for my Libras. Page of Pentacles for my Libras. All right. Damn, that's a lot of energy, but I'm taking it. Y'all know what it is. All right. Look, you got a new love. You manifested a new love in your energy, okay? Page of Cups. This is a new feeling, okay? And it exists. Oh, you manifested a twin. You manifested a soulmate union for wands. <laughs> Whoa, your powers, your powers, Libra. Slow down. Judgment is here. Judgment is here, okay? This is a rebirth. This, you're the phoenix rising out here. You're this nine of pentacles energy. You're like a bird in the hand beats two in the bush. Quit playing with me. It's a divine union over all energies of two of cups. Okay, you out here manifesting like crazy, Libra. I spit the deck strong, okay? Could have manifested a Leo. But look, uh-huh, yeah, you're a strong manifester. That's what I'm getting. That's what I got. Give me this Eight of Wands energy. Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands energy. Eight of Wands, beautiful ones. Eight of Wands for my Libras. All right, yeah. Communication, okay, could be us uh, down is what I'm getting. Somebody wants to create 
line of communication with you. They definitely want to collaborate with you. Somebody wants to tell you that, but they don't know how to feel. They like on the fence with this communication. They want a, a new beginning, okay? But this is somebody who's on the fence. This is somebody who has some hidden things that aren't being spoken. This is someone, you know, could be possibly have a Pisces placement that you're dealing with. They see you as a queen of wands energy. They do. They see, they're very attracted to you. Look, you're the two of cups energy. They see you as a divine partnership. Wow. Give me the queen of pentacles. Who's the queen of pentacles? Because it ain't you, Libra. I'm going to tell you that right now. I mean, you're a queen of pentacles, but this is somebody in your energy. I feel it. Mm-hmm. It's an additional parte. Give me the Queen of Pentacles for my Libra. Okay. Some yeah, this Queen of Pentacles feels left out in the cold because somebody's moved forward. Okay? Uh-huh. They could possibly even be worried about their finances at the time. Somebody's moved forward in this energy. Okay? Give me the five of pentacles. Someone's possibly relocated on this energy, okay? Mm-hmm. Give me the five. Ten of, all right. Yeah, ten of swords. Somebody feels like they've been stabbed in the back. This is somebody who is, you know... Uh, look, this is the energy of someone feeling as if, you know, um, their offer was refused. Cancer energy. Give me the Ten of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. That's not a good energy right there at all. Thank you. Somebody could have a Gemini placement with this Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles energy. Thank you, Spirit. All right. King of Pentacles. Wow, the King of Pentacles. Somebody could have gotten a divorce, okay? This is some type of separation. Somebody, look, there's a masculine I found out about some type of uh, even thievery, some lies, some deceit. This is tense for it. So everything happened, okay? It's like it was revealed, the hierophant. This masculine energy consulted with the most high when it came to this three of cups energy could be a cancer as well, okay? But definitely someone is finding out about some deceit when it possibly even comes to some money. And this Queen of Pentacles is being left out in the cold by a King of Pentacles energy, okay? This King of Pentacles energy is checking for a Nine of Pentacles is what I'm hearing, all right? You manifested someone in your energy, and it could be flipping switches energies, okay, for my beautiful Libras. It could be a Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, but they are someone who is connected to a past when it comes to someone else, okay? Give me the King of Pentacles. Tell us more. King of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're dealing with a possible business owner, somebody who's about their business at least, right? And they're dealing with someone from the past. Look, grief, regret, and loss. This King of Pentacles has been going through a lot of grief, regret, and loss. They could even have Scorpio in their chart, but they've been cold, okay? They've had to do a cutoff. This is somebody who's standing on business and they want to go towards the salad offer now in this energy. Knight of Pentacles. You got the Five of Cups, somebody basically that's gone through a lot of changes, all right? They got some regret when it comes to things. But they're the king of swords. They want to stand in some integrity, some honesty, and go towards something more solid in this energy is what I'm getting. Yeah, definitely there's the energy of the queen of pentacles that is being left. This energy is bossing up. They're turning into an emperor, okay? You got an emperor energy. Someone who's bossing up, okay? I like it. Beautiful ones. Libra, this is what's going on. I'm going to confirm this here. Um, magician heartbreak. Look, somebody wants you to have some empathy when it comes to them and how they feeling. Give me the queen of cups here with the three of swords. The, on the magician. Give me this. Somebody's trying to manifest you to feel some type of way about their energy, okay? What's this energy with the Queen of Cups here and the Three of Swords spirit? Uh-huh. Thank you. Ooh, some burdens when it comes to somebody's Two of Cups, all right? Somebody sees you as a divine union. They're manifesting you and they're heartbroken behind you, okay? And this shit is burdensome to them. They breadcrumbed you before. Uh-huh, they did. Uh-huh. 
And now they want to give some reciprocity. They want to bring some balance. And they're obsessed with this shit. The devil is here, okay? Because they see something from a new perspective. And they're in this energy of wanting to come towards you about it. Yeah, that's what I see happening. Give me this Nine of Pentacles. And we're going to close out. Nine of Pentacles for my Libra. This is a new love and an energy. Four of Wands energy. A rebirth that is taking place in the energy, okay? Yeah, you out here with the Phoenix rising and all of that. Okay. Wow, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Wow. This new love is going to invest Seven of Pentacles. All right? In this Ten of Cups energy. You got the moon right here. This is what you don't know. This is the thing that is hidden in the energy. Someone sees you as simply beautiful and charismatic and ready to go after what it is they want. And that's that Ace of Pentacles energy. Beautiful Libras, this is your read, all right? Be sure to hit that like button if this resonates with you. I'll split the deck to the higher from beautiful ones. I'm sending you so much peace and love, okay? Possible marriage and energy is what I'm hearing with this Ten of Cups energy because it's faded. Will of Fortune is faded, okay? Beautiful Libras, this is your read. We're going to go ahead and move on into Scorpio. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. My beautiful Scorp babies. Water babies. Woo. My goodness. Let me take a nap after this. I haven't even had breakfast, beautiful ones. Okay. We'll be starting Scorpio off at 206.24. 206.24. Uh-huh. I wish my beautiful Libra's the most beautiful this day. 206.24 for my Scorpios. Scorp baby. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Scorpios. Scorpios. Let me just get these cards refreshed for you and your energy. My beautiful Scorpios, how are you doing, Scorpios? My water babes. Mm -hmm. so you're part of the water babe clique, water babe clan. I love you all. Let's talk about it. We're going to start off with the higher self, Scorpios. Okay? Higher self oracle for my beautiful. Scorpios, what's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with my Scorpios? Okay. Cards for Scorpio. Okay, we got a flipper. Scorpio. Expect the unexpected. Manifest, all right? Expect the unexpected and tap into your manifestation. Got two cards to come out. I'm taking these four. Failure and vision, okay? So, look, beautiful ones. If you feel like you have failed at something, you're being told because you're going to be supported by the universe in manifesting what it is that you want. It's going to be even better than what it is you feel that you could have been some type of failure at, okay? Failure out here. This is somebody, you know, wishing on what it could have been, right? Wishing on what it could have been. Vision is here. You have vision. You got vision. Third eye open, okay? Beautiful time to manifest with this energy for you to connect and expect the unexpected to come from it, okay? I love this for you, Scorpio. Get out of this energy of feeling like you could have felt, okay? I'm going to light an incense. But it's something that you feel like you didn't achieve. It could be a relationship. It could even have to do with something that you've been practicing. You know, something involving your skill set, a position, okay, of some sort. Mm. You're being told to manifest in this energy. Beautiful time for you to manifest. Beautiful time to expect the unexpected.
Third eye is open, okay? Some of you may need to do some third eye chakra exercises as well, is what I'm being told. But manifest definitely in this energy. Let's talk about a beautiful one. I'm gonna sip some tea. Just let us uh, another incense up. This is some cinnamon, cinnamon incense that I am. This is part of manifestation. So cinnamon sticks. You can bring you some cinnamon sticks. I carry cinnamon sticks as well. They should be on my Etsy. They're called Snickerdoodle. Okay. Manifest in this energy. And I'm burning a snickerdoodle incense for you all to support you in this manifestation as I give you your read. And sip some tea. So, beautiful ones, this is what you're being guided to do. Tap into the synergy of your vision, okay? And any, any type of energy that is letting you know that you failed in an aspect of any degree, okay? On any level. Don't dwell on the energy of failure. Expect the unexpected, okay? Your overall energy is gratitude, no direction. Wow, hmm, interesting. Haven't seen this one in a second. You, some of you are headed into your north. No, is what I'm getting. Direction, speak to the ancestors. Get counsel for direction is what I'm getting. Counsel for direction, Scorpios. Manifest in this energy. Highly advise. What's going on with my scorps? What's going on with you? We're going to tap into the cosmic insights. And then move into... Somebody could be dealing with a gold digger and got a gambling problem. Okay, Scorpio? Mm-hmm. You can have a Libra Scorpio. Um... You could be a cusper or even a Sagittarius, Scorpio cusper. Somebody's definitely dealing with a gold digging energy. Someone who's out for the riches. They all about the Benjamins. What? Uh-huh. Open up your heart, all right? You're being told to open up your heart, not to the gold digger, right? But this will help you to attract more love, okay? Scorpio. Open up your heart. My Scorpio placements. Your water sign. You don't want to get too deep in the waters with a closed heart. My goodness. That's not a comfortable place to sit. You're being told to move on in this energy, Scorpio. Someone is unavailable and the waste of time is over, okay? You're also being told to let go. This is the overall energy. Let go. Make room for the new beginning. It's on its way to you now. Okay? Let's get a few more cards out here for my Scorpios. Woo! Okay. Hold on. You got one that flew. All right. Spy. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's spying on you. Someone's got their eye on you. You are doing, are doing research on you. Okay? Someone's doing research on you. Got their eye on you. But you're being told to move on and make some room for somebody new. Caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Okay? Caution. This is telling you to slow down. Get your rest, your relaxation, and get what's needed. Caution yourself. Okay? And find out more information. Take some time to do some research of your own. Commitment is in the energy, okay? Yeah, commitment is in the energy if you're able to move on is what I'm getting. 
Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Beautiful Scorpios. What's going on with you? What's going on with my Scorpios? Mm, that smells so good. Manifest, Scorpio. Manifest. And this energy, this blue moon, super blue moon, okay, energy, we are approaching. These energies, okay, um, that you're experiencing is aligned with your element, okay? Super moon, lovers is here. Wow, you have that commitment card to come out. Somebody's holding on in this energy when it comes to love. They can have a Gemini placement. Scorpio. Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Came out in reverse. It's a tower. Somebody doesn't want something to end. Okay. Ten of Swords and the King of Pentacles. All right. Excuse me. I didn't even mention what I was sipping on. You know, I normally let you know. Today is some um, passion zinger, lemon zinger. A passion, it has a bit hibiscus in it. So, beautiful ones, you got the lovers out here. Somebody doesn't want something to end in the energy. They're holding on in this energy with the Four of Pentacles being here. There's been some a painful ending, okay? A painful, strenuous ending when it comes with a King of Pentacles energy, okay? Earth sign could be a Capricorn, Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Excuse me. Tell us about the lovers. Tell us about the lovers. All right. Yeah, there was a love offer that was made, okay? Uh-huh. This is Casanova himself. They said, I want to win out here, okay? You could have a platform or something like that. You could have a base, uh-huh. You could be seen as a, someone shining bright in the energy. You could even have a Leo placement. Let's talk about it. Mm. Scorpio. Give me this tower in reverse for the Scorpio energy. Thank you. The world, okay? Mm-hmm. You close out a cycle. You close out a cycle to avoid a tower. Give me the world with someone from your past. Uh-huh. Give me a tower, the tower in reverse with the world. Yeah, you could have ended something early because you saw something happening. Yeah, this is... Leo energy blocking something. You have to block something. It's like you were moving like a... You were moving silently. I heard... I heard uh, some lyrics in my head, okay? I'm not going to repeat them. But the Seven of Wands is here. And Knight of Pentacles. It's like you closed something out or wanted to avoid a tower. So you close... You ended something. You close out a cycle in the energy. And it's the seven of wands energy of you now blocking or defending yourself or in this energy of feeling defensive in the energy, okay? This is the knight of pentacles. A solid offer is being offered somewhere because you're in this energy. You want to win. That's what I'm getting with a queen of cups energy. Uh-huh. Someone who's sweet and compassionate. Oh, my goodness. A queen of cups energy who... Someone wants to move towards cancer energy. Scorpio energy feels a lot of regret and remorse and sorrow. And it's a king of cups energy that feels this way. Wow. They went through a rebirth. They put a death to some things. That's what's going on. Let's talk about it. Sounds familiar. Okay. Uh, Scorpio, give me the ten of swords. Somebody could drop a motorcycle on this energy. Okay. Ten of swords. Ten of swords. Thank you, Spirit, for my Scorpio energies. Oh, I know. That's my neighbor. That's my neighbor. And I ain't going to hold y'all. He fine as hell. Woo! <laughs> he has a 
has long dreads down to his ass. Oh my God. Excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. Okay, Three of Cups is here. This is somebody's heartbroken. Our, our, well, Ten of Swords, you know, it's heartbreak, okay? It's just levels to the top of heartbreak. This is doing the most right now, okay? So it's a Ten of Swords energy. When it came to a Three of Cups situation, somebody could have been juggling in this energy, okay? Give me the Three of Cups. Somebody is a, went through a painful ending in this energy, okay? Give me this three of cups. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, women, check out guys, okay? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Three of cups. Thank you, Spirit. With this ten of swords. Wow, that's too many. But I'm taking the one off the top. Yeah. Somebody could have dealt to a... Three of Cups situation. It was a painful ending. Give me the Three of Cups. With the death. Tell me more. All right. Yeah, somebody definitely was juggling, okay? This was some imbalanced energy. Somebody put a death to it with a Queen of Wands energy. Uh huh, possible fire sign. A king of wands, a king and a queen of wands who was creating burdens to a possible chariot cancer energy when it came to moving forward. Interesting. Give me the king of pentacles. Look, king of pentacles moved away from this energy, okay? So look. This King of Pentacles energy could have been in a relationship is what I'm getting with a Queen of Wands energy, a fire sign. Both of them could have fire placements. However, this is the energy of just two. It's passionate, okay? It could have even just been like a sex. Um, this is how the relationship even started because it was based off of sex, all right? Somebody's moving on. There's a King of Pentacles um, possible business owner, an energy who's responsible. They're moving away from this. They're going towards something better in the energy is what I'm getting because they want to invest elsewhere. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. That's what I'm getting. I split the deck. They want to invest in the Empress Co. Okay. Get out of here. Okay. Really? They want to invest in the Empress. Can't make it up. Nah, they're moving towards something better. All right. And they're, they been doing three-party situations or just shit ain't been good because they feel stabbed in the back this is somebody who is dealing with residue from the past okay some juggling they could have felt like they were even juggled in energy you could feel like you were juggled okay scorpio give me the eight of cups your Sand glass has ran out. High priestess is here. You could be going towards a high priestess who's a healer energy, okay? Uh-huh. Pisces, Aquarius energy, air and water. Someone feels left out in the cold, okay? When it comes to eight of pentacles energy, somebody um, is watching somebody at work, okay? Yeah, eight of pentacles. And they want to give to the situation six of pentacles. This is someone, you know, want to give some reciprocity. They don't want to breadcrumb somebody. I spit the deck. They want to collaborate with them. Three of pentacles. Yeah, they do. Uh -huh. Give me the high priestess with the eight of cups. That's Cancer, uh-huh, and Pisces. Somebody got, the, look, they want a new beginning, and they want to get their wishes fulfilled. Scorpio, this is what's going on in the energy, okay? Yeah, you want to get your wishes fulfilled. You do. Because it's faded in this energy. It's faded. You feel like you could have missed the opportunity. You feel like your cup won't be accepted. And the energy is what I'm getting. You could have Cancer in your chart. Beautiful ones, this is your reading. I split the deck. Somebody is feeling some type of way. Either you're passionate, horny, uh, excuse me, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the devil with the four of swords laying down, strong with the strength, okay? Wanting to move forward. Yeah, somebody got, look, I'm seeing somebody is desiring. Uh, look, ace of wands and they watching. 
They want to win with this Queen of Cups energy, okay? Uh, who's a healer and a high priestess and all of that out here. But there is someone in the energy, flipping switches energies, that definitely, give me the lovers in the Knight of Cups. Lovers in the Knight of Cups. And we're going to close out. Wow, okay? I get stuck in this energy. This is why these things are going to be like over two hours long, beautiful ones. Nine of Cups and the Lovers. Oh, my beautiful Scorpios. All right, we get a flipper. Where the flipper go? Where's the flipper? I saw it. Wow. Okay. Overall, energy is a collaboration. I'm going to keep shuffling. Give me the Knight of Cups with the lovers. Thank you, Spirit. Mm. Ten of Cups with the sun. My goodness. Yeah, it's some type of um, divine union. Some truth has come out when it comes to how somebody wants to live. And it's this King of Pentacles in your energy. Okay? Beautiful ones. Now... Uh, Scorpio, you could be dealing with an earth sign. Energy doesn't have to be. It could just be a business owner or vice versa, okay? This is you coming to realization that you want to live happy and harmonious, okay? You could have Leo on your chart, but you definitely want to see yourself with a choice that you've made that's more appropriate than the last that you have to put a death to. Scorpio, this is your reading, and your overall energy is a new love, okay? Page of Cups. New love is in the air. This is new feelings everywhere, okay? Yeah, smart move on uh, this here tower in reverse with the world. It's like you close out a cycle, and you escape in just a neck of time is what I'm getting. Scorpio, if this message resonates with you, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, become a part of this beautiful metaphysical tribe. Yeah, let's talk about it. Scorpios, mm. I'm sending you so much peace and love, okay? So much peace and love. Let's talk about it. As we get into this energy of... Sagittarius, you up. And I am tired. 227.30. 227.30. What is this going to be? A three hour thing? <laughs> Woo! Let's go, Sagittarius. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sag, babies. Sag, babies. Spirit. Give me cards, energy for my Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we're starting off with the higher self oracle. See what's going on with my Sagittarius. All right. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Love. And patience. Oh. On the right path. Okay. Overall energy is nature. Okay. Nature. Spirit said, pull one more. Thank you. Someone needs to ground themselves. Okay. Change is happening. I'm not going to pull it. It flipped over. Okay. With others. But there's definitely change happening. So listen. Listen to your spirit guides. They're talking to you all the time and they're guiding you. Boundaries need to be put in place. They do. Uh-huh. And then balance happens, okay? You put those boundaries in place, balance will happen for you. Change will come. Listen, you are being guided by the ancestors, beautiful Sagittarius. You got love on the brain. Yeah, forgiveness is in the energy. Overall energy is forgiveness. You want to be forgiven. Somebody wants to be forgiven in the energy. But love is on the brain. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're thinking about love. And you're being told to be patient. Okay? To be patient. Whatever you're doing right now, whatever state of mind you're in right now, you're on the right 
path. You're on the right path, beautiful ones. I love that. I love that. Definitely grounding needs to take place in the energy, okay? Grounding needs to take place for my Sagittarius energy. I want to get the bulk of, you know, Tarot in for you. So let's breeze through these cosmic insights. Yeah, commitment and health, okay? Let's talk about it. I spit the deck to commitment. You could be looking at be committed to someone in this energy or someone wants to commit to you. This is things are getting serious. Like the way you feel is it's deeper. It's deep is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Health is here. There's a health concern. Health issues could arise. See your physician. Get some insurance. Go to your county hospital, whatever it is, okay? Some of you need to apply for support with medical services is what I just heard. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Guardian. Yeah, ancestors are definitely guarding you. Move on. You were told to move on in the energy going to discuss this, all right? Commitment. Who? Did that come out before? Mm. The answer is no, okay? So, I'm just curious. Forgiveness? It was on the right path, patience, love, yeah, balance, mm-hmm, no, I have to run that back, okay, so beautiful ones, you got your guarded, look, a lost loved one watches over you, you got somebody in the ethers, angels are watching over you, you got ancestors, guardian angels are here for you, Sagittarius, okay? You're being told to also move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over, okay? It's over. Move on, beautiful ones, okay? It's best. You got commitment and the energy as well. And love is there as well as the overall energy being forgiveness, right? So I'm feeling like some things have to be closed out and you could feel like you need to have some type of closure of some sort, right? When it comes to the past, as you move into this energy of commitment, okay? Things are getting serious in the energies, uh-huh. Yeah, and no, it's not the right time, okay? So something, some of my sages are being told, now is not the right time, and some of you are definitely needing to move on. You have guardian angels watching over you, supporting you in this energy. Overall energy is let go, remember? Make room for the new beginning. It's on its way to you now, okay? Um, I forgot who got this, but I've seen it at least twice throughout these readings now, okay? So let's go ahead, let's tap into this energy. Let's tap, let's tap. I'll split the deck to the Knight of Swords and the Devil, Sagittarius. Who is it you want to go towards? Assertively, uh-huh, and make some big changes. Is it a Queen of Pentacles energy? A Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn energy, who you want a new beginning with? Uh, you're going through a tower, something's happening, all right? Somebody got new feelings when it comes to love. This is somebody who's in the energy of wanting to really make some changes, uh-huh, and they're putting a death to even, uh, Earth sign as well, okay? That's what I'm getting. Or a baby mama, a queen of pentacles energy. Yeah, Scorpio was just up. Death was the overall energy when I split it. Cards for Sag. Thank you. Yeah, some type of chaos going on. Got the five of wands out here. Somebody's fighting. Some type of competitive energy is in your energy. Sag. And some type of competitors. Somebody feels like a competitor. They think they're in the Olympics, uh-huh. Yeah, so lovers, they're watching because it's involving a lovers with the page of swords. Somebody wants to gather information 
definitely somebody is jealous when it comes to somebody's choice in love, right? That's the truth. It could be a queen of swords in your energy. Uh huh. Possible Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Okay, somebody who has the gift of gab, speaks the spells, and they are heard. Okay, that's what I got. All right, and that's the truth because the Ace of Swords is here. There's some clarity when it comes to why this chaos is happening in the energy, causing so many burdens. Look, with the Ten of Wands and the Devil sticking up. Like, my goodness. Wow. I split the deck. King of Wands. Woo, this is you. This is you, boo. Okay, it is. Flip and switch these energies. Uh-huh. So, give me the lovers, spirit. Give me the lovers. Give me the lovers beautiful ones. Give me the lovers for my sad babies. Tell us more. Tell us more. Somebody's watching these lovers. There's a queen of swords here with their back turned. Could you have your back turned to something, you think? Uh-huh. Could you be a cusper? Uh-huh. No, there's an emperor here. Whoa. And somebody's heartbroken. Yeah, somebody's heartbroken. Somebody made a choice. They chose the emperor. They chose the emperor, okay? Aries energy. Somebody's heartbroken about that. They don't like it. They don't like it. They're actually caught up in their head about it. They are tripping hard is what I'm hearing. This is the energy that, you know, <sighs> could live at a distance for you, from you. Uh-huh. You could have even traveled in this energy. Definitely, it could be some distance, a distant lover. You could feel like this person is your twin flame. I split the deck to the energy. Four of Wands, okay? You could have saw a stable union with this energy. They close the cycle. The world is here. Again, this is some type of travel. They could live out a distance, all right? There was some type of collaboration. Something was created in the energy when it came to you and this person. Yeah, big creation, magician, manifesting. Wow. You saw a lot with this energy. This energy saw a lot with you. Something's going on. They got an emperor in the energy, okay? Somebody's heartbroken about this. This is a new choice that was made in the energy. Give me the page of swords. Page of swords. Mm -hmm. What are they looking at? What you looking at? What you looking at? Okay. <laughs> Woo! They in their head stuck. What they looking at is wanting to move forward. This is somebody that's like, do I go? Do I stay? Do I go? Do I go? Mm -hmm. I think about... Mm -hmm. And what matters to me the most Cause the love that we share is real In due time mm, I just had that channel message come through strong mm, Carl Thomas Without you, cause when you love someone, mm, cause when you love someone, overall energy is the Knight of Wands. Somebody is in love and they're watching someone that could live at a distance. They're watching them move forward passionately, okay? Making plans. This is somebody indecisive. They don't know how to move when it comes to this energy, how to get to them. This person could have a public platform. Could have been some type of competition again, like I said, in the energy and they blocked this energy. And look, here you go poking out uh, King of Wands, okay? Sagittarius energy. So yeah, somebody doesn't want to go on without someone. Give me the two of wands and the two of swords. Cause the love that we share is real mm -hmm. We'll heal with Diane Somebody who's trying to heal, they want to heal They're doing some introspection More looking than spying But higher finish here This is somebody that is really you know, tapping into their higher self. They're starting to see some things from a higher perspective is what I'm getting, all right? This is definitely someone that wants to make a communication of some sort in the energy. The Hierophant is here. The Hierophant. I spit the deck. There's somebody going through a rebirth. Somebody wants to transform. 
some balance in this energy, okay? Yeah, and I see a two of cups is here. Somebody wants a divine union. They feel like they're watching their divine union move on and make a choice to be somewhere else. That's what I'm getting. Give me the queen of swords, queen of swords, queen of swords, Sagittarius energy. Lots of channels are coming through. Without you, because when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Is that what he said? Oh, somebody, yeah, somebody need to play that song. It's a message. <laughs> message. Queen of Swords, spirit. Kiss the sword is what I just heard. Kiss the sword. All right. Woo! Kiss the sword of the Empress. Look. Mm. The Empress is the Queen of Swords. And there's a King of Cups that's here. Now, either you sweet on this energy, or there's a new energy coming in passionate about the Empress with a solid offer. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, could I believe your placement? Strong. Ten of Pentacles energy. Beautiful ones. I'm feeling like somebody is watching someone. Now, flipping Switchy's energy. They're watching the Empress and the Emperor in the making. And they don't like it. It's starting some arguments. People are spying and some jealousy and some competition. And this is the truth. Give me the Empress and the Queen of Swords energy. Are we going to close out? Because the sand glass is gone. And a new beginning is here. And there is definitely some choices, some something that needs to be balanced out in this energy. That's for sure, okay? Someone needs to, someone feels imbalanced when it comes to someone's, the Empress's new beginning. Uh-huh. A Nine of Pentacles energy. This is someone, wow, the devil is here. Somebody's obsessing over this energy. That they could have stolen from, lied to, cheated. They're holding on to the energy, okay? This could be someone wanting to hold on to the energy, invest in a business of some sort, eight of pentacles. Wow, okay? I split the deck. This is someone from your past, Sagittarius energy. Six of cups. Past life, you could be dreaming about this energy. This energy could be dreaming about you. However, there's some type of recall some remembering some recognition it's like you're starting to remember this energy now yeah and you want to go assertively towards this energy flip and switch these energies but that's what i see happening sagittarius this is your read okay beautiful ones if this resonates with you hit the like button uh -huh. like it up like it up like it like it beautiful ones i'm sending you so much love support as well as peace okay my beautiful Sagittarius peace and love Saggy peace and love peace and love my goodness I might have to how many more we got <laughs> like, I, like how many more we got I am ooh, hats off hats off to the readers that you know I know it takes practice but my goodness Capricorn we got Capricorn through Aquarius and Pisces three more zodiacs beautiful ones I'm gonna upload this uh-huh um and I'll be back I'll be back in the energy tomorrow. I did my damn thing, y'all. I did. I didn't expect to. I, I wanted to stretch and finish them all out. But look, this is almost three hours. I don't know how long this is going to take to upload. But I got to get this energy out here to you all. And I'll be back in the energy with the final three beautiful ones tomorrow. Which will be Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Okay, I love you all, and I'll be back in the energy a little later for some Venus, Venetian energy, okay? Peace and love, beautiful ones. I am Empress 444. Peace.
Peace and love, beautiful ones. Let's go ahead and let's round up the ending of our All Signs reading. I'm back in the energy. Um, <clears throat> I decided to go ahead and just add this to the energy, of course. I took a break because, yeah, going straight forward with... I'm giving each one, it looks like somewhere between... 25 minutes each something like that okay so as we know this is going to be a long one <clears throat> and it's going to be time stamped so let's get into it excuse me beautiful ones let's go capricorn capricorn we're starting capricorn off at 24 4 2 5 2 4 4 25 okay uh-huh that's almost three hours in okay let's talk about it what's going on with capricorn <clears throat> excuse me beautiful ones yeah what's going on with capricorns higher self i don't know how long this is gonna take to upload but hopefully it gets to you all tomorrow because it is dated from the 18th <clears throat> excuse me to the 24th i'm gonna take a sip of my lemon tea i've gone from your hot tea this morning to afternoon honey tea mm -hmm. lemon honey tea okay let's talk about it what you're sipping on welcome to tea talking to row all signs edition all signs edition this just lets me know how I need to break it up energy-wise. I should do six, six zodiacs, take a break, and then put six more together. So I'm not just going, 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 going nonstop. <laughs> I'm going to put something into the energy soon for you all as we wait for this all signs to upload. Oh. That's too many. I think I'm still kind of tired, but um, I'm ready to get in this energy. Uh huh. Or I wouldn't be here. Beautiful ones. This one wants to come out. Wow. Capricorn, my beautiful cat babies, welcome into the energy. You got a flipper. Where's that at? Thought I saw something flip. Cat babies, my cap cap babies, 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 babies. Let's get into this energy, okay? <clears throat> mm -hmm. So far, you're being told to go with the flow. We'll pull four of these for Capricorn. Holy Spirit, thank you for protecting us as we enter into this energy. Okay, there goes the four. You're on the right path. You're making some changes. Beautiful ones, go with the flow. You could be dealing with some anger issues or even need some anger management. Is what I'm getting. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That's going to be for some of you, not all of you. But worry is here. It could be some worry that is, you know, could have some underlying anger that some of you may not even be expressing. Some of you are in so many ways with so many different individuals. Whoever it is you feel safe voicing this energy with, okay? There's some confusion. There's some confusion. It has something to do with a relationship is what I'm getting, okay? Yeah, it can feel like a headache, okay? Yeah, there's confusion in the energy. And here is worry on the brain. Somebody is on your mind and it's causing some type of worry. Go with the flow. Being told to go with the flow. And anger is here. Some grounding is necessary in this energy. Release some of this worry and this confusion as well. You can feel um, cloudy headed is what I'm getting. Crown chakra cleansing. I'm seeing that a lot in this energy. Your overall energy is you're on the right path. I just see some things that may need to be managed in the energy, okay? So, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's 
going on with my beautiful cat babies. Beautiful cat babies. Spirit said one more. Okay, yeah, nature. Yeah, grounding needs to happen. You need to get out into nature. You need to get out into nature, beautiful ones. Go where the deers are is what I'm hearing, okay? A wooded area or somewhere that is, you know, um, you're surrounded by less buildings, houses, uh-huh. Got these antlers. Something took place during this last full moon energy, this buck moon that we had. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and now we're approaching this energy of the super blue moon, okay? So there's a newness to you and what you're doing in this energy is continuing to really release this newness. And we're in Mercury retrograde, so you're having some challenges and you're reflecting on past worries, okay? It's causing some confusion because you know that you're different than you were six, seven months ago, approximately, right? This is a change you felt from within yourself. And you're being told to go with the flow, all right? Release some of this anger here. See things from a new perspective. Let's talk about it. Beautiful cat babies. <laughs> I'm saying that my son is a Capricorn, so y'all my babies. My babies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's y'all category over here at the Dynasty. My babies. Cat babies. Yeah. Your energy is very debonair, okay? Debonairing. Yeah, I mean, to me, you guys are intelligently eccentric. Uh-huh. Spirit, give me cards for Capricorn. What's going on? What's going on with Capricorn? Cards for Capricorn. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. All right. What else? The goat and this one. All right. You guys have a few that came out. I'm gonna let it rock and roll. Okay, you know what? I, let me just go ahead and show the card. Love child, okay? I saw pregnancy and I started to just, you know, say something. It was the overall energy at a point in my shuffle. Yeah, but love child is here, okay? Somebody could be pregnant. Somebody could be having a love child. Somebody is in their feelings. Somebody is experiencing some emotions is what I've got. You got romance that's here. There's been a romance that sparked in the energy. You could be in the mood for some romance too, okay? Romancing the stone is what I'm hearing, okay? Wow. <laughs> left you hanging. No closure, no contact left on red. Someone could have left you hanging, okay? This could be cross watchers as well. You left someone hanging, vice versa. They left you hanging. No closure. Someone feels like they don't have any closure. It has been a no contact situation for many of you. And someone is just left on red. No strings attached and bumping heads. My goodness, sounds like a one night stand or a stand until you couldn't stand it no more, right? Look, no strings attached and bumping heads. And a love child could have came, came from some of it. And it could have been because somebody had feelings of romance and someone ghosted them. Wow, let's talk about it, okay? Let's go ahead and get into the tarot. Get into the tarot. Beautiful cat babies. All right. Let me put these trees. 
true emotional way. Hope you're having the most beautiful day. Cat babies. I almost put the deck to nine of wands and empress. Somebody could not, or may not want to give up on the empress energy. Uh huh. Let's talk about it. You have an empress energy. Someone could be pregnant. The empress is pregnant. If not physically with uh, bearing a child, it's gifts and ideas that they're always pregnant with. Uh-huh. Somebody's partying and the tower's happening, okay? Somebody's been partying a lot. Overindulging, three of cups energy, and a tower is here. Somebody could be trying to mask something. Look, it's, I spit it again. Yeah, they could be trying to mask something. Someone could have experienced a cut off, a quick cut off, a queen of swords energy. Sorry, the train is going by in the background. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, not me, but you know, hey, the locomotive system. <laughs> Three of Cups is here, beautiful ones. Somebody could be trying to drown out a cutoff is what I'm getting. A breakup, a separation. That was the Queen of Swords with the Three of Cups. Tell the story for my Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. Capricorn. Mm, okay. Seven of Cups, all right? Now, this is about someone, you know, having a lot of things on their mind. Worry. This is worry. This is why worry came out. Give me more spirit. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Capricorn. All right. Getting your wishes fulfilled. Someone not accepting the offer is what I'm getting. That's the truth. Yeah. Some clarity. Some type of clarity came. You know, you could have been in your head about some choices, some decisions that need to be made. You're definitely sure about getting your wishes fulfilled, though. You really do want to get your wishes fulfilled in this energy because your overall energy is the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning. This is a feeling that has come over you and you want to feel this feeling again. You realize what a gift it was from the most high. That's what I see. You got the nine of cups here. This is someone wanting to fulfill their wishes. Somebody could also be overindulging is what I'm getting. Nine of cups, okay? Uh-huh. Drinking a little heavy. Causing some confusion. You may have an offer for someone. It was denied. You could be bumping heads or feel like you're bumping heads with this energy. Ace of Swords is here. This is the truth, okay? It's clarity. Clarity is here. Give me the Seven of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Capricorn. Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Yeah, Ten of Cups is here. Somebody's thinking about a happily ever after energy, you know? Being happy at home, kids, property, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Give me the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. All right. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to give up on this Nine of Cups energy. They don't. They don't want to give up on fulfilling, getting their wishes fulfilled. Nine of Wands, and this is a King of Cups energy. It's someone who is, you know, they have emotions. They are very much so inclined to share their emotions through how their water flows, okay? Yeah, how their water flows. Not all the time with words, okay? But when they do talk, they will tell the truth. Give me this Four of Cups energy. Four of Cups energy. Someone is ignoring an offer. Someone ignored an offer. Uh-huh. Or you could feel as if this offer has been ignored. 
We got three cards to come out for the Four of Cups energy. Yeah, this is someone that now sees things from a higher perspective, okay? Yeah, and it's sun energy. So somebody sees the truth. They see clearly now, and they want to move forward. Six of Swords. So someone could have gotten sacrifice in the energy because of what it is they know, and they want to move forward in this energy. Overall energy is they're manifesting. Yeah, they're manifesting. This nine of cups energy is what I'm getting. Give me the hang one with the sun. Thank you, spirit. All right. Yeah, strength is here. Could be a Leo energy. Uh-huh. And this Leo energy, this is strength. So someone is in this energy of being a knight of pentacles energy, wanting to bring forth some type of solid offer, okay? However, it was a painful ending with this Ten of Swords here. Painful ending. Yeah, someone played themselves out when it came to something. Okay, I split the deck. Someone wants to change that now. They're in a Knight of Swords energy. Wanting to make some <clears throat> quick changes. They want to be assertive about sending some type of me message or making a movement. Okay, yeah, somebody wants to move fast because they see a tower. A tower is here. Let's talk about it. Let me see. Uh, I started clarifying before I gave out this other energy. Give me another energy spirit for this story for Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Tell us, spirit. All right. Yeah, it came out. Knight of Pentacles, the overall energy. So this is about an offer, okay? And this offer is coming across as solid. It's coming across as, you know, it's a Nine of Cups energy. It's getting your wishes fulfilled. Someone doesn't want to give up. All they can do is think about this energy. And this energy is bringing forth a lot of clarity. And I'm getting a lot of healing as well. It feels healing to this energy because it's a Ten of Cups energy. It's happiness and bliss on the home front, domestically, right? Mm. Someone could have Capricorn in the fourth house. Yeah. Give me Ten of Cups. Somebody wants to make some changes and they're actually waiting on some changes to come through that's what i'm getting in the meantime someone is prepping for these changes preparing their lifestyle for them ten of cups for capricorn okay cat stubborn aren't you Ah, you are the goat. <sighs> new beginning. That's why somebody wants a new beginning. You didn't want me to know that, but I know now, Capricorn, okay? You want a new beginning when it comes to this Ten of Cups and you watching this person. Yeah, you are. <clears throat> You're watching this person. And it's some type of fight. You could even feel like there's some competition here in the energy, okay? So emperor energy here too. Could feel some type of way about an emperor energy, a boss energy, an Aries or something. Doesn't have to be, but it could be someone who just comes across as a boss energy. It could be the person that you're here for. Uh-huh. Are you, right? Yeah, someone's in their head about a two of cups energy, a divine partnership. It's bringing a lot of burdens. Somebody wants some communication when it comes to this. Okay, they want some movement. They want something to happen. Uh-huh. Let's talk about it. Give me the nine of cups. All right. Thank you. My goodness. Somebody wants a new beginning. I can't make it up. Ace of Wands. Uh-huh. They make you feel like this. Passionate. Very much so. And they're a high priestess energy. They could have Pisces in their chart and this energy, you could be in hermit mode on hush, just observing them, okay? And observing yourself through the aspects of this high priestess energy, okay? That's what I'm getting. Someone wants a new beginning when it comes to this energy. 
Give me the Four of Cups, Spirit. All right. Yeah, Four of Cups. Someone feels like, you know, someone's ignoring an offer, an offer that, you know, you could have. Whether you've spoken this offer out in the literal form or not. But this energy's walked away. Mm-hmm. Looks like this energy has walked away and put some burdens down is what I'm getting. Someone had to leave people behind, places behind, uh, energy behind is what I'm getting. This person could live in a city. Uh-huh. Yeah, six of pentacles. This is some reciprocity in the energy. Give me the ace of swords. Give me this clarity. Ace of swords. You could be dealing with someone who's an air sign. Uh-huh. Gemini. Oh, yeah. There's some fighting going on. It is some competition when it comes to love. Somebody can have you blocked, too. Flipping switch these energies, you feel blocked. Ace of Cups is here. Somebody got a lot of love and emotion, okay, for someone. It's like you know somebody was a gift or they know you were the gift. Yeah. Yeah, you can have this energy blocked. It could have been some quarreling. Some competition, uh-huh, yeah, some lies and some extra people invited into the energy, <laughs> whether you ask them to be there or not, yeah, you got an empress that someone went through a rebirth in the energy, okay, like some people are not the same anymore. I don't know how long you've been apart or separate from your person. Some of you seven to ten months, I'm hearing, and even longer. Uh-huh. Why is this Father Wands here, Capricorn? Thank you, Spirit. Why is this Father Wands here? It's pretty. An emperor. Mmm, yeah. I said it. It's some type of competition. It's an emperor energy. It could be an Aries or just a boss energy. Somebody feels some type of way because they see you as a lover. Someone sees you as a lover. Their lover, vice versa. You see them as your lover. That's what I'm getting. And it's starting some look. Somebody wants to move forward in the energy. Yeah, this is chariot right here. They know that you're attached to some type of abundance, okay? Somebody knows that being in your energy, look, they're going to be bossed up or you the boss, you the one that make them feel bossy, okay? Yeah, someone wants to be in your energy because it's a bossed up energy. Look, they feel like it's destiny, will of fortune. This is somebody who's, you know, you were meant to meet on your karmic path. Mm-hmm. Was it good karma? Hmm. They don't want to give up the a solid offer. Give, give me the Knight of Pentacles. And we're going to get ready to close out Capricorn. This is what's going on in the energy. Six of Pentacles is here. Yeah, that's like somebody wants to be fair now. They want to bring some balance, all right? And they want to put these burdens down as well. Capricorn, this is your read. I'll be back in the energy. This is from the 18th. Yeah, it's definitely been some type of deception. Somebody played themselves out in the energy, okay? It's 10 knives and 10 wands. Yeah, somebody really wants to put their burdens down because, look, mm, they're going through karma, justice. Yeah. And they want to move forward. This is somebody who wants their wishes fulfilled. And the energy. I split the deck and they want to go after what it is they want with this Nine of Wands energy here. Uh-huh. They could have a fire placement. But this is someone who definitely, and this is someone from the past. Six of Cups, even the past life energy. They could have been sneaky and dishonest with this energy. And this energy was really a sweetheart, a Queen of Cups energy, okay? Flip and switch these energies. This is your read, Capricorn. Let's talk about it. Mm. I want you to have the most beautiful, beautiful day, uh -huh, week to come. And I'll be back in the energy 
be sure to hit the like button if this message resonates with you and y'all come back now uh-huh yeah subscribe become a part of this beautiful metaphysical tribe i'll be doing these every saturday for my beautiful zodiac energies capricorns my babies <laughs> i'll be in the energy soon let's talk about it let's go ahead and move on in okay let's move on in we're going to start off aquarius at hmm 2550 2550 Mhm mm Yeah wow Let's talk about it Aquarius uh, Aquarius Mhm mm Yeah That's y'all call I got a little call for everyone but you in particular, that's like my day one call for y'all. Uh, uh, Aquarius. Yeah, I like Aquarius. Y'all very mysterious. You, you are mystics to me. Let's talk about it. I'm just mixing these up, getting them ready for you. Coming out of the energy of Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful Aquarius. We're going to get your higher self, higher self, okay? Higher self, excuse me. For my Aquarius energies. Various energies. Aquarius. You need to cleanse your energy, Aquarius. Clear your energy, okay? Wow. And you could have gone through a breakup. Yeah. Felt like you felt in that energy. Or your person does. But this is your energy. So you could feel like it was a felt. Yeah, look. Anger comes out. Wow. A lot of energies are experiencing this anger. Beautiful ones, check your placements to see, you know, where Saturn is in, in your energy, okay? Yeah, and you'll it'll teach you how to work with it so that you can see things from a new perspective, okay? Mm-hmm. A higher consciousness. That way, you're not sitting in any type of anger. Um, a lot of the Zodiacs have been having them anger come out as well and you need some grounding in this energy especially this moon energy this is you know playing with your emotions you playing with my emotions uh-huh look nature this is the grounding energy i'm talking about this card always follows with the anger as a way for you to diffuse the anger this buck moon that we had recently full moon it brought forth a lot of changes in your energy okay and it can even feel like forced changes in the energy. Aquarius. These two cards are out for you. Go within. You're being told to definitely do some meditation. Uh-huh. Go within to diffuse this situation. And whatever you're going through right now, this is about your perseverance. How long are you going to last? Okay. Yeah. Will you be the last man standing? That's this energy. Okay. Perseverance comes out and you're being told to go within because that's going to give you some longevity uh-huh yeah tap in you can be doing some 
sacral work that's needed. And solar plexus, solar plexus energy is needed, okay? Yeah. Nature is here, grounding yourself, getting out into nature, really embracing yourself, this change that you're going through. Lots of transformation happening in the energy. But anger came out. Something is really frustrating you, and it has something to do with the separation, okay? The growth that comes from it, okay? If you see things as a lesson, you know that it's all about growth. The light. You're a light worker. You're someone who is sent here to be light to others, okay? So you don't want your light to look like the angry light. This is you diffusing that. Uh-huh. This is that guidance to diffuse what it is you're feeling in this energy. Let's go ahead and tap into the true emotions. See what's going on. My Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius energies? What's going on with my Aquarius energies? Mm, I didn't flip my sand glass for you all. It's okay because I've been giving a little head start earlier. Give me a second. My, um,. I don't want it to go out. Ooh. This is Palo Santos I'm burning. But it's a cone. And it's burning slow. But I don't want it to go out. I want it to continue to burn through the energy. Okay. There we go. Turn up the smoke. <laughs> yeah, something has to do with a fire. Uh, it's a lot of passion that is in this energy that you're feeling that's causing some type of anger. You know, anger can come from being overly passionate in the energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let's go ahead and tap into it. See what's being hidden or really just confirmation of what it is you already know exists. Beautiful Aquarius energy. Give me some energies for Aquarius. What's happening in the energy? Something shady is happening with a thug. You be dealing with a thug? Uh-huh. <laughs> Shorty want to be. They, look, they losing sleep, Okay. And look, worried, replaying events, thinking about you is here. But something was shady about this individual. They're losing sleep. And this is a thug that can't sleep right now. You could have closed a cycle with this energy, okay? They could have been sharing your business, pillow talking, love messages, showing your texts, uh, you know, something like that. Let's talk about it. Aquarius. You can feel like someone is childish, okay? Backstab is here. Pain, cheating, deception, mind games, and love bombing. Yeah, you can feel like somebody love bombs you. Overall energy, they could have left you hanging as well. They were a karmic, okay? Karmic is showing right here with left you hanging. Uh-huh. Yeah, no closure, no contact, left on red. This person is going through, oh, could have been, oh, secrets. Could have been some type of, you know, one night stand or somebody feels like they just off and on and cold. Make you feel like they want you one moment and the next time they don't. That's what I'm getting. They're going through karma right now. Some endings and some losses in the energy. Somebody could also be dealing with some type of mental issue as well. Yeah, let's talk about it. Like a mental breakdown. Overall energy was firestorm, and that's one of the energies that comes from the storm. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, reckless love and sex. Somebody is recklessly out there having love and sex. They're trying to replace a queen bee energy, a secure, confident boss, bitch, career focus. Somebody wants to replace that energy. That's a, and they're trying to cover up something. Okay, they are. Look, living, okay, in the moment. You could be just living in the moment right now, but somebody's feeling fed up. 
They don't want you to live in the moment is what I'm getting. And they could be watching you from a secret account, calling you from another phone or something like that. Oh, oh split the deck, secret accounts. I split the deck to secret accounts. It was sticking up. Workplace affair. Somebody could be getting bad news. Somebody could be sleeping with somebody on a job because they're heartbroken over you is what I'm getting, okay? Uh-huh, and they feel like shit. Someone probably wanted to take your hand in marriage as well. They could have proposed at one point in time or you could have felt like you were headed in that energy. Give me another card for Aquarius. Thank you. All right. Shocking news. You could have found out something recently about someone someone's secrets overall energy okay you got some shocking news when it came to this energy wish uh-huh wish somebody someone's been manifesting Ooh, it's a psycho crazy ex obsessed and won't let go they're manifesting you yikes <laughs> sorry aquarius my goodness that caught me off guard i got a little spooked when i seen it Mm, okay, that's how they feel. Tell us how you really feel about my beautiful Aquarius energies. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Beautiful Aquarius. What's going on with my Aquarius energies? Tell the story. Somebody was cold. Like, it was a cutoff type of energy. The King of Swords really stuck out really tough just now. When I was flipping. Someone from your past, Six of Cups. This energy, like I said, you could feel like somebody was childish, okay? These two kids, I mean, you could have grown up with this energy. All right, this energy is very playful in the energy. They give you like a nostalgic energy you remember having this this feeling with this person before okay they could be a scorpio or have scorpio in their chart tell the story of four aquarius thank you spirit all right mm, yeah it could have been an emotional offer love offer beautiful ones uh-huh and the energy, a queen of pentacles energy, investing. Someone could have told you they wanted to invest in you. You could have invested in this energy. Okay, remember, pentacles is time, energy. It's all of that. It's resources, okay? You could have let this energy drive your car. <laughs> it's your resources. Somebody wants to hold on to this energy. They don't want to let it go. Somebody's greedy is what I'm getting. Oh, yeah, and a very passionate because they do see you as a two of cups. They see you as a divine partner. However divine it feels to you, they literally see you as a queen of cups. They take advantage of how you feel about them or someone has taken advantage of that. Could be a king of wands energy as well. Uh-huh. Involving the empress energy. Mm. Seeing three different energies could be a three-party situation. Let's tap into this. Um, Knight of Cups. Give me the Knight of Cups. Somebody made an emotional offer to somebody. All right. And this mother figure, this Queen of Pentacles, we'll tap into her. See who is she? <laughs> yeah. So someone wanted to move forward when it came to some type of emotional love offer. Two of Wands. They could have even, you know, made plans to relocate or in the energy of doing that wow i didn't even see this is four cards somebody when it comes to an empress <laughs> they made an offer an emotional offer to an empress yeah i mean it's what it is i, I called it 
Yeah, this mother figure, this queen, it could be a baby mama, or just another energy who uh, runs their own business or, you know, is about their business to some extent. There's judgment here. It's definitely some type of rebirth with this phoenix energy when it comes to this empress. It's like somebody wants a rebirth, okay, or something had to die in order for someone to live and move forward and someone's stressing their head about it, okay? So I see an Empress energy that's moving forward and someone doesn't like it. And it could be this Knight of Cups energy, whoever made this emotional offer, right? Uh-huh. And someone's dealing with some anxiety when it comes to this. That's a lot of energy. A Queen of Wands is an overall energy. Could be a fire sign. As well, give me the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. All right. Okay. Will of Fortune is here with this Queen of Pentacles energy and the Hang One. Now, either someone is seeing something from a new perspective, is what I'm seeing. There's a Queen of Pentacles, a possible Earth sign. Uh huh. This could be you. Uh huh. Seeing things from a new perspective when it comes to your destiny and your future. Eight of Wands is here. This is like you know you wanting to. You could want to speak your mind, but at the same time you're concentrating on moving forward too. It's like fast changes happening in energy and. It's keeping you in alignment with your destiny. There is an empress in this energy that has gone through a rebirth, moving forward, and is stressing someone out in your energy. Who is this nine of swords here for, spirit? Because I see a queen of pentacles energy who is optimistic about um seeing things from a higher perspective when it comes to your future okay and there's this knight of swords energy possible aquarius energy who is in their emotions for an empress mm -hmm. queen of cups is here they want to heal something in this energy because they see uh, longevity with this energy, Ten of Cups. They're broken hearted over this energy, Three of Swords and the Lovers. It's a choice who they chose. This person is sitting in a bunch of burdens right now. They definitely could have an Aquarius placement and all they do is sit up here and think about an Empress energy. Uh-huh. King of Swords. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Give me this. Give me the Wheel of Fortune with the hang one for my Aquarius energies. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Let's see what came out. You got a lot of action with that. Somebody's definitely spying. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's spying. Let's talk about it. Wow. Okay, somebody sacrificed someone. There's a Queen of Pentacles here that sacrificed someone. It has everything to do with their destiny. It's connected to some work that's done by the devil, okay? Eight of Pentacles with the devil. And it caused some grief, some loss, and some regret, some sorrow to a King of Cups energy. Uh-huh. That's what I see. That's what I see. Now, that's very specific. So, remember to take what is yours and to leave what is not. It was behind the King of Wands energy. Somebody wanted to look. There's two different scenarios. Somebody physically could have sacrificed somebody in the sense of you know, they, they're they gone. They're sacrificial lambs. And my condolences. And I don't mean to put it like that. But this is what I'm picking up on. 
Somebody also could have had something to do with someone's work, okay? Stopping work, okay? But however the work is with this Eight of Pentacles energy, this is something that someone poured energy into and they have for a long time. And they done it with the energy of the devil is connected to. And it caused somebody some grief, some loss, and some regret. Uh-huh. And it's a king of cups energy. This is some type of despair. And it has everything to do with a king of wands. Behind a king of wands, who could you could feel like you have this energy blocked. They're still holding on to the energy and passionately wanting to go towards a two of cups situation. So when they feel divine, tell me about the five of cups with the king of cups. All right. Yeah. Ace of cups. Uh-huh. Water energy. Somebody done this because they're in love. Okay. It's look. This is the King of Cups, and the Ace of comes out with the King of Cups, okay? I'm, I'm seeing some jealousy from a King of Wands energy. It feels like they want to be with somebody always, the Empress. Wow. Give me the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Aquarius energy. Wow. Look at the magician with the page of wands energy. This is someone from your past that is using some resources of their own to create some type of energy, okay? Yeah, some type of magic. And they're watching and spying. They're watching and spying. They're gathering information. They're, this person could even be bisexual. I'm getting that energy heavy. Yeah. Yeah, I said what I said. It's not going to be for everyone, but it's definitely going to be for someone. Someone questions their sexuality. You may even question their sexuality to some extent. Seven of Cups. This energy is in their head. They could even be having some mental health issues. Lots of... They feel like they're under a spell is what I'm getting. That's happening fast. Uh-huh. Caused by Queen of Cups energy. With the Ten of Swords. Mm, that has a lot of secrets. Through a collaboration is what I'm getting. Yeah. That's what I got. Tell me more about this magician. Person of the past with the Page of Wands. Aquarius energy. Someone is definitely manipulating some energy, uh-huh, against someone who is sweet in their energy. A tower is happening now. A tower is happening. Yeah. Six of swords, ten of cups. And I'm getting there's an empress energy who's moving on in this energy to a ten of cups that she manifested. Flipping switches energies because they close out a cycle on this here heartbreak, all right? When it came to the lovers, right? Yeah. So the magician is going through a tower. I see a backfire. Uh huh. With this page of wands energy. You see, this energy is being thrown and it's going backwards, okay? It's going backwards. So there's definitely um, a backfire happening in the energy return to sender energy uh-huh and all this started because of an emotional offer for an empress energy who has gone through like this metamorphosis transition transformation and someone definitely wanted to affect someone's work life someone's love life out of jealousy envy and greed okay seven of pentacles seven of pentacles and we're going to close out Beautiful ones. I got Pisces. Last but not least, okay? Yeah, seven of swords. So seven, look, this has everything to do with a relationship. Somebody is still lost in love. Seventh house energy, okay? Look, we got seven of pentacles that's here and seven of swords. 
Someone snaked somebody, done some treacherous shit when it came to some type of money, feeling like they invested in someone or someone was being invested in. A poor investment and a poor collaboration is what I'm seeing as well. That's holding a lot of secrets, okay, in the energy. When it comes to a king of pinnacles, somebody's baby daddy who they hooked up with, with the three of cups energy, yeah. You know, these are people who they celebrate with, party with. Everybody had their hands out because they wanted their palms to be greased in the energy yeah everybody wanted a little something something in this energy okay someone could have a leo placement but this is a strong no okay it's a strong no in the energy when it comes to a star someone who was healing in the energy yeah someone was dealing with a light uh-huh a light worker is what i'm hearing who was a sweetheart queen of cups energy beautiful ones this is your energy aquarius all right this resonates with you Go ahead and hit that like button, babies, okay? Yeah, my air babes. Mm-hmm, that's a lot. That's a lot. I hope it gives confirmation to my beautiful ones, okay? Let's go ahead, let's dip. Mm-hmm. Let's get into this Pisces. At 5121. Pisces at 50. One. Mm. Twenty one. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's talk about it. Hmm. I'll figure it out. <laughs> the timestamp. Okay. So, Pisces, let's get into your energy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Pisces. My water babes. That's my water babe clan. Uh huh. That's you, Pisces, and Cancer. I know y'all don't like to be thrown in all together. But, come on now, y'all all in the water together. Uh-huh. <laughs> you got to share the sea, the ocean, okay? Let's mix these up some before I use them for your energies, beautiful. Beautiful water, babes, Pisces. And beautiful, beautiful Pisces energies. Yeah, what's going on with Pisces? Hmm, let's see what came out. Hmm. Someone wants to put their swords down. Five of swords, they could have wanted to win at all costs at the same time, but justice prevails. Definitely, this is Libra energy, Aquarius energy, okay? Some balance is happening in the energy. Let's go ahead. Let's see what's going on with my Pisces energies. We're using the higher self oracle. I'm gonna get some energy for you from here. Pisces. Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. Intuition, that's you. Uh-huh, high priestess. You got a lot of energy out here, okay? Ask for guidance. You're being told to talk to the ancestors. Ask for guidance. Higher self energy. Connect with source, beautiful ones. See things for a high, from a higher perspective. This is a consciousness, you know, you, you could be ascending, uh-huh. You could feel like you're going through these different evolutions of who you are as well, all right? That's causing your third eye to open up, okay? Your heightened of a heightening of intuition is happening. Yeah, it's right here. Uh-huh. It's causing you to uh be able to see things from a higher perspective. Strength is strengthening, is what I said. Yeah, they got the strength here. Uh-huh. And it's coming from a place of consciousness that this intuition is becoming stronger. You're starting to follow your intuition, is what I'm hearing. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
take the first step. You're being told to take the first step because you two are going through a transformation in this energy. Lots of transformatory, transformatory energy that's happening. This murky retrograde has me like, yeah, 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 yeah. But y'all get what I'm saying, beautiful ones, Pisces. Take the first step. Transformation, okay? And what this transformation consists of is you seeing things from a higher consciousness, okay? This is you stepping into your consciousness of seeing things in the subconscious realm, a heightening of your intuition as well. Being told to ask for guidance through this, okay? Because help is on the way, but ask for it. Call it in and bring it to you, okay? Because change gonna come, okay? Because you're going through some changes, beautiful ones, okay? Let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. I like it. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and pull on the insights, the cosmic insights for you. Give us some insight for Pisces. Insights for Pisces. Insights for Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. I almost stretched it all the way through. I had three zodiacs to go and I got pooped. At the very end, I was like, oh my goodness, I got up early to do this. Got to get up early to get this job done. But I know to break it up into segments and just combine the footage together because it's a lot. Okay, Pisces. Y'all got my nose itching over here, so we finna get some real, real truth. Candid, the candid truth out here, okay? Aquarius. I mean, Pisces, you could be dealing with an Aquarius energy as well, okay? Pisces, intimacy, sexual chemistry, and reminiscing. Somebody is reminiscing about some type of sexual chemistry that they had, uh-huh, when they went on a vacation is what I'm getting. Or someone will be traveling soon. You're anticipating having this intimacy. Yeah, let's see. Some chemistry at least, right? I mean, but you got to have more in chemistry, all right? Date night. Look, yes, yeah, looking really good. <laughs> and gambling, okay? Somebody could be going to the casino. But anyhow, let's talk about it. Pisces, you could be looking for some intimacy. You could be having a date night. And this is about you getting ready to get ready. This is get ready to be wined and dined uh -huh, on your date night. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little making out, a little necking. Ain't that what we call it? Necking, uh-huh. Because <laughs> you got some chemistry here. And someone gambles. You could be going to a casino. You could be going to Vegas or something like that. Atlantic City. Anywhere where slot machines are, okay? But someone got a problem with this. So be careful, okay? Problems with addictions are gambling and bad financial choices, right? This is someone who isn't good with money. You could be dealing with this energy. You're being told to let go and make room for new beginnings on its way to you now. So, and it's a yes, luck is on your side. If you're willing to let go, okay, of whatever it is that's, you know, connected to this gambling issue is what I'm getting. I split the deck. There's a confession that needs to be made, Pisces, okay? Someone has to tell you something. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I just heard about their sexuality. That's for somebody, okay? Mercury retrograde is here. Somebody could be trying to bend or spin the block. Electronic issues could come up. Communication could be down between you and someone. Issues, communication issues. This doesn't have to be just in a love situation. It can be just overall you, you know, having conversations with others, okay? Review everything in this energy, okay? Any contract signing, any uh, applying for things. Review everything in this energy, okay? Let's go ahead and let's get into it. Sip some tea. All right, beautiful ones. Pisces. Pisces energy. Pisces energy. Pisces, Pisces. 
Pisces. All right, beautiful Pisces. Spirit, give me energy for Pisces. Some regret and some grief, some loss and sorrow. This is, wow. Pisces, this is you here, High Priestess, with the devil, overall energy. All right, we're going to get some transparency in this energy. Somebody got some grief and regret because they used their high priestess energy for the devil energy. That's very clear to me, okay? So uh, whether this is you or someone in your energy, somebody misused some power that they think that they thought they had. They thought they had. I'm hearing like it's past tense, like this. Yeah, it's past tense. They thought they had this energy. Someone thought that they would alter something in the energy is what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, you got the world that comes out in reverse. Someone didn't want to close out a cycle. Someone felt like they wanted to win. Six of wands energy, overall energy. Pisces. Pisces energy. All right. Someone's definitely manifesting in this energy. When it comes to love, the lovers, okay. Uh-huh. Gemini energy here, but we got a page of pentacles with the world in reverse. Tell the story for Pisces, okay. Uh. So I'm only taking four and we're going to put this four of cups back in. This is somebody who is just bored with everything. This is like a refusal. They're irritated. Someone's trying to apologize. Somebody's trying to offer a cup. Someone's not feeling this energy. They don't want it. They're ignoring the offer. But they feel like, you know, someone could be even penny pinching in the energy, holding on to their coin. Um, someone could even want to be holding on to some energy when it comes to some deceit, a long, painful ending. This has been going on for quite some time, 10 or more years for some of you, okay? Uh-huh. 10 or more months for some of you as well. Uh-huh. Spirit, give me the world in reverse. Somebody didn't want to close out a cycle, okay? Yeah, this is somebody who likes to live in the past is what I'm getting. Give me the world in reverse. For Pisces. Pisces, thank you, Spirit. All right. Yeah, somebody's trapped in their head about it, too. About a queen of swords. Interesting. <laughs> okay. So we got a Pisces. Pisces in your energy. Okay. Either you're this queen of swords energy. And you're trapped in your head or you're trapped in your head about a queen of swords when it comes to a cycle. Not wanting to close out the cycle. Because what I see is somebody's trapped about somebody moving forward, okay? Mm-hmm. This person could live at a distance, but someone is definitely, you know, in this energy of making plans is what I got. And it's some grief and regret behind this. Give me the Queen of Swords with the Eight of Swords. The Queen of Swords with the Eight of Swords, Spirit. Pisces. Energy. All right. Magician. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> so look. There is a magician energy. And I called it before I even laid these cards out. Somebody was misusing their power. Uh-huh. And it looks like someone's stuck now. Yeah. Overall energy is a chariot. This is fast movement forward. This is also cancer energy. So 
beautiful ones. Um, you got the Queen of Swords as here. And we know the Queen of Swords, she sets her boundaries and her expectations high. Because she operates with integrity, okay? But with this world being in the reverse, this is somebody who basically delayed themselves. They got no closure. Uh-huh. They feel incomplete. This is also Saturn energy. This is root work that needs to be done, is what I'm getting. But it, it could be root work that was done, <laughs> too, okay? So, let's talk about it. Give me this energy with the Magician. Because anytime we got the Magician with the Eight of Swords, there's definitely some head games or even somebody manipulating energy. Okay? Uh-huh. And wanting to make some quick changes going forward. Strong could be with an Aquarius energy. Give me the Magician with the Eight of Swords in this energy and this Queen of Swords energy. Mm. Nine of Swords is anxiety and stress. Bam. And it came out. I'm sitting up here doing the math like, okay, here goes Eight of Swords in your head and then the sword that the Queen of Swords has in her hand. That's nine swords, and bam, it comes out, okay? So, look, definitely there was a magician at hand causing some type of um, anxiety or stress or wanting to. But see, this Queen of Swords energy is moving forward in the energy, Pisces, okay? And look, High Priestess is here. High Priestess is here. Heartbroken, okay? This is Pisces energy. So flip and switch these energies, okay? You know what it is. You know if this is you that was trying to bring some problems to somebody and it looked like it's a horrible setback, uh-huh, when it comes to this energy, whoever this is, but it feels like you. Give me the Page of Pentacles for Pisces. Thank you. Yeah, Will of Fortune, somebody's manifesting when it comes to their destiny because their world is turned upside down. Something has been horribly delayed. This is like, I'm hearing financial setbacks, everything. It's like somebody's world has stopped, like they're not moving because that's what the world in reverse has happened. And it's like, it was a call made on this energy. Someone wanted to see someone else in this position. And now they're manifesting the will of fortune. Give me the will of fortune. Thank you. And they're watching and spying. Uh-huh. Because they're in this energy. This is somebody who could have been competitive in the energy possible. Aquarius energy. But give me the page of swords with the destiny. Somebody is like watching. Like their destiny lies in someone else's hands. Okay. Wow, in the Empress's hands. They're watching the Empress. They're watching the Empress. Oh, my nose is itching. Mm. Yeah, they are. And this Empress could live at a distance. Someone could definitely live at a distance, all right? So whatever it is, look, this Empress is a powerful manifester, all right? This is what somebody didn't know. It's like somebody stuck themselves in a situation because of how they felt about someone. And now they're getting the brunt of the side effects is what I'm getting. Someone's watching and spying on the Empress and are also looking back at the mistake they made when it came to playing with some magic and the energy trying to cause some type of mental confusion, okay? Energy manipulation, however you put it, all right? Give me the Four of Pentacles. Someone's holding on. And I mean, holding on to every dime they got is what I'm getting, okay? Somebody's definitely a miser to where they like to act like they had it before is what I'm getting. So I'm definitely, the fake flossing gag is up is what I'm getting. That's what I got, uh-huh. Someone was in the energy acting like they had it, and then the reality is being seen that they don't. They just holding on to energy. It's the Queen of Pentacles. I can't make it up. We got a queen of pentacles out here. Somebody possible Taurus, um, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But they was acting like they had it like that. Uh-huh. And now they don't because they're the four of pentacles. 
There's a mother figure who is a four of pentacles energy now. Uh-huh. And they're holding on to... They're wanting to hold on to other people's energy too. Someone sacrificed themselves. And they didn't know they was happening. It, like, look, they had interactions with a three of cups energy. Other karmic energies is what I'm getting, okay? That they bring home. These are people on the home front, people who you might even see as family. Or they wanted to try to manifest this energy when it came to some lovers, okay? Mm, interesting. Give me the hang on with the queen of pentacles. The hang... Yeah, wow. Y'all saw how that turned around like that? In the reverse? Yeah, somebody not getting no love and they can't make no loves. Look, look. this page of Pentacles is in the reverse. This is about creating something new and passionate. Somebody don't have it to get, have. Like, they can't create anything in this energy. There's no passion. This is somebody that doesn't really know their purpose. That's what I'm getting. Uh-huh. This could even be, you know, that confusion, that was caused before returning to them and this page of cups energy is this is you know feeling like there's no love uh-huh like someone there's no love i mean this is the best clearest way that i could put it it's a page of cups that's in the energy Page of Cups, they're immature. They don't have no desires. That's why this Page of Wands comes out. This is someone that doesn't have desires. They use a lot of escapism. Uh huh. And they're overly sensitive. This is someone who will create a mess, start a fire, and get all emotional about it because they started it. Give me the Ten of Swords. Look, overall energy, energy is a new beginning. And someone going passionately towards different choices, various choices, uh-huh. Having a new beginning with this full energy with a king of pentacles. And even a king of pentacles if they want to. And we know that's this empress out here having her choices. Look, juggling or whatever, you know, they got choices. It's decisions in energy, okay? But I'm seeing that, look, somebody's just a burden and it could be that temperance energy, okay? So somebody could not want a, a Sagittarius energy. Yeah, because they got them blocked, uh-huh. This was a missed opportunity. Somebody is not, look, they're good. They're turning this offer down is what I'm getting. That's what I got. Uh-huh, let's talk about it. Give me the Ten of Swords for Pisces. Ten of Swords for Pisces. Ten of Swords for Pisces. Someone has, look, Pisces, whether this is you or someone in your energy, okay? Because it could be, right? Could be a cross watcher's energy who you're watching. Yeah, seven of swords with the ten of swords. Come on now. And somebody getting karma. They're getting karma for it. It flipped. Uh-huh. This is their wish fulfillment. They wanted it for somebody else. But look, let's check it because this is how it's going down. And we're going to get ready to close out, beautiful ones. Look, when somebody goes to sleep at night, they don't go to sleep at night. They're having sleepless nights. Thinking about a possible Libra energy and a King of Cups energy, okay? Uh-huh. Libra is four of swords and the King of Cups is here. Water sign, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio, okay. Um, cancer, right? So this Ten of Swords is coming from some type of deceptiveness, some type of treacherousness, deceitfulness, and somebody's getting karma for justice, all right? Uh-huh. Aquarius energy. It could have been an Aquarius in your energy that was sneaky as well, Pisces, okay? And they're getting karma as well. Definitely things are being balanced out. Somebody just wanted their wishes fulfilled. They did. Mm-hmm. And this is Pisces. This is you. You could have just wanted your wishes fulfilled. But there's this energy of someone walking away to go towards something better. And it could have... Look, somebody could have got mad that somebody was trying to go towards something better. Or someone who they saw as better in the energy. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's the truth when it comes to a Queen of Cups energy. Give me the Eight of Cups. What is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups in this energy for Pisces. Eight of Cups.
Eight of Cups. Thank you, Pisces. Yes, pretty. All right. Yep, Ace of Cups. Somebody definitely was going towards someone better because they felt like, look, this person, they done fell in love. For real, for real. And somebody started throwing their own resources of magic or whatever it is into the mix. But they felt left out in the cold. Somebody was like, you're not going to leave me. Uh-uh, not without a fight. That's what I'm getting. And it caused a tower. <laughs> Straight up. This is what happened. And it caused a tower. Someone's jealousy. It's a bunch of secrets behind this, okay? This is more Pisces energy. But this is definitely someone from the past. More water energy. This is Scorpio. Someone was going to get a new beginning. And it was the King of Pentacles energy. The mate to the Queen of Pentacles Take what is yours, leave what is not, beautiful ones. But this energy literally wanted a rebirth. Uh-huh. Look, there's definitely some things that change because somebody's under judgment now. Uh-huh. Strong judgment is coming in fast when it comes to somebody's whole legacy. Whatever it is they built, uh-huh. Whatever it is they, whoever it is they call family. And look, it's definitely shared money in the energy. Six of pentacles. Fast changes are happening to this family. Beautiful Pisces, this is your reading. Be sure to hit the like button, babes, my water babes, okay? And I'll be back in the energy. This is for the 18th. August 18th into the 24th, and we'll do another all signs read for your beautiful energy, beautiful ones. I hope this provides confirmation that you need it, uh-huh, if you were questioning anything or felt like you were confused about something. I hope I can be the one, of course, to get you right on that and give you the clarification that you need. I love you, Pisces. This will conclude our all signs reading. I'm sending so much love out to you all. This will be time stamped. And I'll see you in the energy soon. Mwah. Peace and love. I am Empress 444. And this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.